you, baby. Back here, we back. We out in Ron Conkama. We traveling Yo, today. I, I, listen, this is, I, I, I asked for y'all a, a long time ago. And then I saw you at, at the 300. Yeah, the um, 300 the party. Thing. So it happens. I wish I was um, at y'all place. <laughs> but I appreciate y'all driving over here to come, though, too. But I, we, gotta, I gotta get that out there. Fuck that. All right, but listen, but if we're gonna do a part two, which we already said that we still Oh, most it, definitely. Then we'll okay. do it. We'll, I got you. Okay, yeah. okay, okay, love. okay it's I got fair, you. It's fair right. and equal. Love, love. E, e double. Ring that bell, man. Subscribe so you can see when these joints drop. Love that. And, and for the members, get, get in early because this is gonna be a real good one. So it's only $5, man. Make that purchase because you're gonna see yeah, all, all the BTS bucks, and damn. all of that, yeah. man. $5, $5, man. $5, let's get the five. Come on. E double, now. we could talk about history. But um, I think I got Esso here, and you guys really live, not lived, live this music right. industry and business. And I want to get your thoughts, and I'm gonna jump in because when Universal went against TikTok, right? Right. Nobody saw the play. Nobody. Now they got their own streaming service coming through. Right. For the artists, like, what, what's the thought process of that when you see something like that? Yeah, I, just, I think that some had to happen. The game was going in that direction. Mm. You know what I'm saying? People are, uh, you know, it's money being made. And especially, you know how they feel about, I don't know, if, is he from Korea, the dude that owned TikTok? I thought he was from China. China. Yeah, was like, where, 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 whatever. They already mad, thinking they was um, tapping shit and doing secrets. Anyway, so, so automatically it was all kind of messed Elections up. But, but as far stuff. as people just putting up the music and for free and Universal's not eating, See, that's what the Universal got mad about. That UMG was, don't play that but game. Aren't they eating off the stream? I, I, know, I know you think that they are, but but, mm. it's, but it's not being recorded that way. It's not being recorded because it's it's, it's only it's, it's on videos. So it's not a radio station, it's not being streamed on one of the flat, plat, platforms. So it's just being played. So they was like, no, take it off. Wow, I didn't know that. I no. thought that that was counting. Yeah, it, but it don't count. But oh, but what I'm looking at it, once they started their own streaming platform. Hypothetically, the assumption would be that now any other digital service provider, they would start yanking it. And if you want to get Universe, if you want to hear Drake, it ain't going to be on Apple. It ain't going to be on Tidal, Spotify. It's going to be on our independent platform. But it all depends because mm -hmm. they're also going after people who have their publishing as well. So even if you're signed to Atlantic Records, mm. but you did publishing with Universal, they trying to yank your music too. Universal happened to be the That's monopoly. That's the play. Mm -hmm. It's like Amazon. Yeah. So at the end of the day, somebody, they big enough to do that. They big enough to be able to get their own streaming company because they all the music is mostly them. Mm -hmm. Yes. You know what I'm saying? It's fucked up though, though but it also mm. puts pressure on Spotify and them to drop them prices down. And you know, mm -hmm. don't forget, the regular people are still going to be able to, that's not on Universal, they're still going to be able to eat. The majority of people that's left are still going to be able to eat because they need Tidal and Apple and yes. Spotify and them too. But Universal as a whole is like, yo, fuck it, we don't need nobody. They that big. As an artist or a producer or, or a man, whatever. Now, there's a decision to be made if we think about it. I'm thinking ahead. If I'm an artist, what's the best play to sign with Universal and only be distributed that way or stay as another independent or another record label where I get the freedom to be on YouTube, Tidal, Spotify, maybe, which is gonna be more profitable. Do you wanna be with the best or you wanna be with the rest? I I, I don't disagree. That's the question. No, I, yeah. I, That's the question. But, but what, what's the price point gonna be now? <laughs> I know. But it all, but, but it mm. all depends on what your stand is like. Mm -hmm. Me, you already know where I'm going. I'm now going, going for, the for best. Yes, of course. I'm not fucking with the rest. If the best want me, and they got See, the budget. Now that's what the 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 argument is. Mm -hmm. If they want me, mm -hmm. if I can go there, that's that, that's the problem. Yeah, because you just can't say, yeah, of course I want to be with Universal, like he says. But how am I get there? Yeah. So do they want me? So the other part is, you're right. There is more platforms, right? Yeah. But all together, they don't equal up to Universal. Where Drake is at. Drake Where, is over no, there. Everybody's there. Nikki's over there. Everyone is there. Wayne is over there. The whole yeah. Cash Money catalog is Everybody's over there. Everybody's there. Def Jam is Def over is there. there. Interscope, Interscope is, is there over, there. over there. there. Yeah. <laughs> it's no. more. Mariah it's Carey's more them. catalog is yeah, over there. there. But if they're taking it from all the service providers, right. and the only place now 
is only going to be from their own home. Right. Now, is that going to be feasible to get everybody to just go to that no, one No, no. The ones that I, I, if you can go there, you can. But again, for everybody else, no. You, you want to get as much platforms as possible for you to win. The more platforms you're on, the better it is. This is what it is, what I'm wrapping my mind I about. hear what you're saying. Again, no, 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 no. Yeah. I agree with everything you're saying, both of y'all. But we never thought Universal was going to put out their own platform to stream artists. When we just seen them yanking, we were like, what's the play? So now they have, they have to think ahead of, all right, how are we going to battle all this? Are we going to pay them more money? No. No. Why, why would they have to pay them more money? I mean, whatever. They don't even All right. Let me, let me tell you Let's why. Let's go. Nobody really knows how much they're getting paid anyway. Nobody knows where this even came they from. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> so, so that's the sad part. It's why would up. I pay you more money? More money. Yep. I can I got the charts of what y'all niggas been paying them. I'm a mirror what you've been paying them. If y'all been giving them 19 cent, they gonna get 19 cent from me too. Why not throw in 20? But but I think mm -hmm. that it's gonna be better. I don't think it's gonna be you that hope. much better, but you I think hope. I think it you, I think it might if that You talking as if you know that more money's coming well, down well, the pipeline. Because because it was already talked about when Snoop made that argument, Snoop about was the first billion, one that said about, about like, yo, stream. what the fuck is going on? Mm. See, Snoop was powerful. So when he opened his mouth, everybody shit changed. People mm. were like, yo, okay, well, we got to make this um make this better because Right, who did make this? He up? made ninety thousand off a billion streams right, or something. Exactly. That's a yeah. ridiculous so every, so, ratio. That's what I'm saying. So again, but you gotta imagine though too. Like I see you, you said something about um, the firing of all the people. It's, it had to come. The game is. It, it, we know now. So that what happened with Universal losing forty percent? That was necessary. It, you 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 got to. It's changed. You, you, I don't need to have staff. The way things are going is digital, it is streaming. So all this has to change. So them doing the streaming company, I got one. That's what I'm on, my own, my own. When, when I dropped my last project in 2019, I went through my own shit. And then I make that money. No but matter how, what. But, but, you, but, you, but you're famous. Yeah, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, 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 it works for people who got names. You're right. Okay, mm -hmm. I, I take that back. You're right. The reason why I was able to do that because I had a name. So I was able to have my fans and, and me able to to win off of that. Cause when I did that with Sway 2019, I was, I was the first one to tell niggas about streaming and, and how mm. much a CD was at um, 1,500 um, 1500 streams equal to one CD. I was the first one speaking all that because I was learning how the shit go. That's why I did my own. Mm -hmm. So but from 2019, small money though, but from 2019 to 2024, I get $5,000 a month off of one record. That's more than what the average American That's makes. That's 60K a year. That's two, 240K. I'm only on one record. I didn't promote nothing. I didn't do anything. I'm just telling you that what happens when you can do it yourself. But you're right, having a name. I ain't do no promotion. I ain't do nothing. When, when I be telling these kids or when I be giving this game to people, I give game for them to understand what it could be like for you. Because the 360 deal right now is out the window. If you doing that now, somebody digging you $2 million in your check, in your face, and you doing a 360, have you ever seen um, any one of these people, not to put Brighton Tiller them out there or anybody out there, you seen any merchandise? The majority of ours don't have merchandise. You don't go to the show and see their shirts and stuff, stuff. they can't sell it. Why? Yeah, because they, the label owns it. The 360 only likeness. So even though well, you why might- Why wouldn't the label want to sell the, sell the merch to make no, everybody money? Do, do, do they care? They probably didn't want to do all that hustle and bustle and all that type of shit. They did they making money from the music? We so care they, about it. So why so why wouldn't they let them do it? We then? don't know because do you sign a three sixty? I got your publish. I got your likeness. Your face. I own it because you wanted two million dollars, so I gave it to you. So you don't think three sixties is worth it? It never was worth it. I've heard so many artists say, like, if you're coming up with nothing. Of course, you, you don't got shit. Yeah, of course, if somebody who don't got shit and you go, you want somebody to offer you some money, you're going to take it. But the long run comes out. Publishing, like I told you. How you don't own your publishing? That's just like you having a 401k or having security or getting a, a, a social security check at the end or, or, or something at the end where you can live forever. But it's a leverage game. You know, if an artist is coming in with nothing, they hot and they're dangling that money, that this... Unless you're ready to bet on yourself or the infrastructure is set up to bet on yourself. But he know that people can't pass up to two million. No, of course not. But, it's but, hard. But, but, but he's just saying that they should. At this day, 
a time when you watching it and you watching how people are saying to themselves, it ain't just me, man. Look at the artists, they talking. They saying like, yo, I wish I could have thought about that, but I wish I would have had management, I wish I would have had somebody telling me something different. Because at the long run, look at here, I'm now I'm sitting here stuck because if my records don't move, and nobody I know other way me. to make money. Exactly. How about this though? Because there's being a rapper is more than just having good music. It's how you carry yourself. Mm -hmm. It's how you dress. It's how you move culture forward. And I always remember when Cameron was signing his deal, his lawyer or whoever was like, do not give up your publishing. And he's like, I have to because I can't sign a deal and not come back with a Benz and a chain. Right. You understand? When you see certain rappers not having things or it's not, you don't look the part. Sadly to say, it can translate in not you being effective. Yeah, that wasn't the beginning when mm -hmm. people was, when we was young. Can that, can that, but, but this moment, not, yeah. Yeah, 360 is what that is now. Yeah, of course. You come from nothing and they know that. That's why they we, prey on you. All the, sli all the deals that we had was all, see, these deals wasn't made for, for regular human beings. 10, 10 year contract. I mean, I heard, I, I saw you do a, a, a show on your first contract that you signed. Coming yes. out, it was it was $1, light. Fifteen hundred dollars. It was light money. Fifteen hundred dollars. Mm -hmm. Seven fifty a piece. Me and Parish. Yeah, seven fifty a piece. Which seems like I don't even get it. Like, what was you supposed to do with that? Like, if I'm giving you fifteen hundred dollars, right? How am I even supposed to thinking that you're gonna be in the right mind frame to even make music that's gonna make me millions of dollars? No, we. I'm seventeen years old. We kids. All, don't forget back then. All you want to do is be on the radio. You don't know about no deal, no money. You do was the radio. up if you was on the radio. No, I'm talking, I understand yeah. why they preyed on them. Mm -hmm. oh, okay. But me as a businessman saying, if, when this 750 runs out, if, if, if they don't come up with a record for me, this was a big waste of time. Oh, no, no, but, but we had the records. Oh, you yeah, had yeah, the so, records so already. Had, it's my thing, you're a customer. That's how we got signed. We got we you. Had the two, we had the two singles back to back. They knew. What it was. Don't forget, Bismarck Key was lower than us. It was a thousand dollars. I think Kane was the same price as us. All three of us was bad. It was what it was back then. That's the money they gave you. When you and Parrish first broke up, I heard it was about different type of finances and all that, mm. right? How did you find out? It wasn't that it was found out. The way that it looked like I was getting the shoulder under the stick. But how could you? How? Well, how like, were you able to determine? I mean, because you again, you can't have two presidents. You got to have. If I trust Esso, mm -hmm. I, I'm, I'm, I'll trust him to, to let me know what time it is. So and that's how it happens. I didn't, I didn't keep up on my game the way I supposed to be. Mm -hmm. I didn't know, and I wasn't taught. You, you're young, you know. Paris went to college, so I, and so I, I, you know, I looked at that like, okay, you don't know what, he, um, you know, he, he know more than me, so I'll be okay. And to me, when I look back at it, I really don't know if it was if it was messed up or not. I didn't check it. So again, don't forget, this wasn't me and him. It was the outside saying, he jerking you. Yeah. So you listen, you know? Because again, I had, he had houses and cars and stuff. I only had one apartment. I was changing my bins, different colors, the same car. I was just painting it, you know? So it looked like one person is doing better than the other. Why, how was he able to do better than you based on what it looks like? Was it he? I don't. As, was he good at ex, managing ex, money? Exactly. That's okay. what I'm saying. That, that's what I'm saying. That's why okay. the argument came because how did he? You know, even though again, you know, he tells me it wasn't. I had to account it, and uh, later on, Bert Fidel was like, "Let me know that like, yeah, like certain things wasn't right." Mm -hmm. But again, what it boils down to. If he did it or not, it's still for me. You wasn't on your deal. I wasn't on my game. Business. Okay. Were you producing back then too? Were you doing beats back then? Me and Proud was doing it together back then. The first album was really done by P. Well, I'm asking you, so you started producing more back then. Was that when you learned, when you started producing, was that when you learned more about the music business? What, what triggered you? Because you know everything about the business now. I know you've been a producer, you didn't place records, you didn't do all, all types of wild stuff. At what stage of that did you start even learning about the business? Well, the strictly business, where you see business, mm -hmm. then second album was unfinished business. Yeah. Oh, so that's all intentional. Exactly, because we <laughs> kind of learned 
being And then right there it says, we mean business. Right. So mm. Strictly Business, I mean, we have, we was on the Independent. With, with That's the first record, Fresh right? records, both albums. And we like, damn, these niggas is, we got two number one albums on the, in the two, back to back. I went to a label, they had Jeeps and new computers and people was chilling. And me and Paz was sitting here with no money. So something didn't match right. You know what I'm saying? We like, yo, something's not right. So we like, oh, okay, this is the music business. So then we was with Rush Management, which is Russell and, and Leo, and Russell was like, oh yeah, something wrong. So Russell went and ordered the label mm -hmm. and find out, oh yeah, shit was fucked up. So Def Jam bought out EPMD for $1.6 million. So I ended up at Def Jam on the third album. Gosh. That was business as usual, right? Now, number one album again. Don't forget, we PMD did, niggas didn't do what we did. We was number one album back then, but niggas talk about what they, nobody did what we did. After that, the fourth album came, business never personal. Cause now we in it. And then, cause now we in it, we got the hit squad, Dos Effects is platinum, Reggie, Solo. So we here. We, we, we all, all four of us on the Billboard charts at the same time. So now it's business never personal. So now we like, we don't need Leo and Russell and them no more. So we started doing our, doing our own thing. Was that a mistake? No, because it, it, it was only a, a, can't be a mistake if we the biggest thing out there. Nobody was fucking with the hit squad. There was no squads. We, don't forget, I'm, I, like I told you, we was on the charts at the same exact time, running it. Dr. Peck number one, Reggie's five, EPMD's two, we... You know what I'm saying? Yeah, so, Keith, Keith so Murray too, that, right? that came later. That came after the breakup. The group broke up. That's what happened to e EPMD, the whole the thing, the group broke up. You don't know what could have happened with them other five years that we was off. You didn't feel like you owed a certain level of loyalty to Lior and Russell because they got you out of the deal. They saw that the money wasn't right and you could have just stayed with them. No, nah, the group broke up. That okay. got to do with them. The, right. shit, the, the turmoil in the group was that they had to understand that. So that's why Russell signed me immediately. After the group broke up, mm. I, I, went, I, I signed solo to to, to Russell. Mm -hmm. You know what type of pressure did you feel? None. <laughs> did you I, I, feel I, pressure of, of of going solo? I knew who I was. There's there's no flex. I, I knew the fact that that in that group, you know, whatever like that, everybody Paris had fans, but I had fans too. Because I gonna forget, I I had Reggie Noble. Well, mm. that's, that's a so everybody knows the fact right that. There. Oh, he's producer of that, Eric, whatever they know that. Now, don't forget, I'm at the end, I'm doing all the production now. That's what I was so, saying. So because crossover you were from not and doing... headbang and all that stuff, whatever was done and then Reggie, then after, after that DOS, everybody was like, yo, this is so we waiting. K Solo spellbound, everything was coming, it was all me. You know, so at the end of the day, I knew. So when when that, because I was already feeling pressure anyway, I didn't feel good in that group. I was losing myself in that group. I was feeling like I was getting ready to die in there. You know? Why? Because it was with all the success that it was that turmoil. Was but what, what was the, the turmoil? turmoil? Yeah, just the money. The turmoil was the was that just the money. <laughs> Are you crazy? <laughs> but I'm saying we what? had talked about that. But but, 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 but the way that you're saying, I'm not saying money's a big hold deal. On, on. I'm just saying you're just making it seem like it was more than the money. He's saying, oh yeah, because it was people talking and people this and that. Don't forget the robbery happened. What Dude. robbery? When, when, when niggas went in Paris's crib and then niggas thought it was me. Oh, I forgot about you know, it. Don't forget that that's all on beef too. Don't forget when that I shit forgot, came out. I that forgot, was that's what the whole that. breakup happened. It was the robbery. That was the in the lead up to the end. Right. I forgot about that. That's why I said there's so much stuff that I feel like people wouldn't remember or even know, not even me. How how did y'all meet Reggie in the first place? Or you meet Reggie? Yeah, we met Reggie together. We Anybody know about New Jersey? Club Sensations is a place you don't, you know, you, you can get robbed at. It's Newark. You know what I mean? So we went there, it was packed that night though, too. And do it all. You know, he's Lords of the Underground after, but he wasn't Lords of the Underground then. He came in there with him and Reggie. Do it all. I saw him backstage before I got on stage. He was rap rapping to me. And he's like, oh, you're my DJ rap. And Reggie's like, said the line, like, I float like a butterfly, sting like the rock group. That threw me off because I'm thinking he's gonna say Floyd like a butterfly sting like a bee. But he did another metaphor. He said sting like the rock group. I put him on stage that night. Didn't even know him. 
I'm like, in my head. We put the DJ on stage that night. That night. Hey, but yo, yo, what is Reggie doing up there? Again, th that was just me, like, as far as if I heard somebody. Yeah, because yeah. Keith Murray, when, I, when I, he was brought to me, he said one metaphor. He said, let's squash the beef, cook it, we all can get fat. So all I saw was a hamburger in the, in the grill, mm. cooking, rising to and whatever. we all can get fat. Exactly. So that's all I saw. I'm like, anybody word playing like that? Whatever took him. Same with Dots, like with the Rickety Wow, we already knew that was like, yo, what? I like, that's nobody don't know nothing about that, you know? You know my, my Nick Bones ticker too. You heard all this stuff from TV and film and the whole mm -hmm. now, but this is on a record. Like this is on a on a loop. Like mm -hmm. But E, to jump ahead, when we come back, you you mentioned um Keith Murray. Like, do you like talk to him? Cause seeing him going through what he's going through in these interviews and hearing the mm -hmm. stories, him in the streets wilding. And everybody say he's probably on some type of drugs, and you just talked about your battle. Do you yeah. feel like the need to reach out to him or try everybody to... reached out for Murray for years? He doesn't want everybody. Help? Is, listen, everybody, listen. Let me tell you about the attic that I've been at for 15 years before I checked in rehab in 2022. They tell you you can't tell nobody to go get help. It has to happen from you. You can talk to your friend or your mother or your father or your brother aunt and uncle to their blue in the face. No intervention. You saw the DMX on Ayana, God rest of the dead. Yeah. It ain't gonna happen. You have to wanna do it. So there's no talking to no addict at all, or anybody that's doing drugs or anybody. There's no vocal, so stop it. To tell you that in rehab, it's not gonna happen. They gotta wanna do that. So he's gonna have to wanna change. I don't, I, I, I don't know what, I, even though, Stuff look like something like that. I don't put none on nobody. I, you know, whatever, because I've been there. So yeah. I can't talk about the next person when, 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 when I was sitting there doing it. But again, we all grew up. So we all grew apart. So we don't hang together. You don't know what's You know, I, I yeah. don't see Reggie. Uh, you know, I don't see Murray. You know, we talk. I saw Murray at, when uh, Reggie, when it, I, I did Master Square Garden with Wu Tang and Mary and them. Mm -hmm. When I did that show. Um, I saw Murray like two months ago, but again, it's like maybe twice a year or something about something come up and people don't really be together like that. You know, people think that you hang with them and you, because you cool, but that's, people are grown, man. I'm 55 mm -hmm. years old now, you know, mm -hmm. these people are grown, you know, so they got their life. I'm just doing what I'm doing. People are doing what they're doing. Who helps you the most? With that's all the what I'm thinking. <laughs> <laughs> who, 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 who helps you the most with the business? Yeah. Was it a lawyer? Was it a manager? Who taught you? Russell. Russell Simmons. Um, I tell him all the time because he was the one that was constantly back to back as a friend. Like, you know, um, because again, I'm making money. So ain't nobody on Def Jam that I'm not over there producing. So when Def Jam was doing bad, Reggie Noble came. They tell the story all the time about how Reggie saved Jeff Chan yeah. at, at mm. that time. So then, okay, I come out and I go solo. So they get to get money from Polygram. You know what I mean? So after a while, then you got Red and Meth coming. It's all me. I'm here like this. So you was getting a piece. So well, we know you had a piece of Reggie. Then you had your own self. And you had a piece of Red and Meth too? Because I was, I was producing them. But don't forget how high was... An idea that I was put, uh, no, I put, you know, we put together in the studio. Did that ended up being a movie and, and all this other stuff and putting them together and doing Blackout and Blackout 2, though. So yeah. this is all me. I'm doing Warren G. I'm doing Jay Z. I'm, ain't nothing LL Cool J. I'm doing everything in the building. So of course, these niggas, Leo Cohen, them, you know, is like, they still my bros. Because again, I was bringing the money in. Even though other camps was doing it before the camps, before there was Murder Inc. and everybody was coming in, <laughs> I, it was me. Yes, yes. So Russell and then I, Leo Cohen was also a person who was like, after, Le after Russell was Leo, like Eric, the same way he did with Jay. We think Jay's a billionaire now. Leo, Leo was like, let me come in for a minute. I'll show you how to do this. You know? So that's what happened. So he didn't do that with Dane? You think he did that with Dane? Who? Leo. The Leo. No, that's why. It didn't happen. He, they, 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 you know, whatever. That, that was the me. That's the wrong move to do because Dane was a fucking genius. But they had to get move him for this to happen. 
You think Dame was in the way of the success of, of course, of be, be, because because um, how how Dame antics was, which which was I wish I had that because look what happened. He was able to do all that shit to make the move for some people be, to become what they became. Come on, there would be. Can you imagine Kanye West not being here? He said, "Yeah, I, we going I'm gonna sign him." He pushed it forward when he pushed others, it forward. He Nobody pushed said no. forward. That is true. If I but what do that you shit, think no happened? Kind. Did it get to a point that he just needed to change? Because I, because when I was younger, I was a little more wilder and aggressive with my approach. And I think that after I got the success, I was supposed to understand I was now successful and I couldn't act the same way. Yeah, you're right. Let me say something, man. White America don't, don't like loud. Mm. Business people already look at this as being threatening. So SO's in here loud, he gotta go. He's threatening. They don't like they don't like threatening. You gotta be cool. So bro. Dame, so Dame definitely had to go because he he's probably and, and one even of the most though threatening he was a, he was a genius there. and even then played the black, like, yo, when niggas try to come in and take and the take coast, credit, the, the jacket, credit, he's like, yo, and, and he I did this. Out. I remember. But kidding, that's what happened. People would step in once the success happened and then take credit. And he was just trying to say, you didn't do this. Which was true. I did this. So you trying to come in and take my success, and that's the whole thing. Like again, he didn't. To me, it wasn't. He didn't do nothing wrong. It happened to me at DreamWorks with, with Dave Hollister. You know, I'm over there too, knowing that Dave Hollister is the only thing that's working. My shit. But I go and be like, Yo, this shit ain't working. Ain't nobody over here telling no records. I'm the only one over here moving. But I'm loud in front of the owner, in front of Mike and them, the people that own DreamWorks. They were like. The next day, Bernard said, yo, Eric, you can't be involved in the second project. I mean, you can't come in this building no more. But Dave is still signed to me. So, so Chicago 85 still came out, but it wasn't. You it, wasn't involved. Let me tell you something. Shit ain't been the same with Dave Hollister since he ate that girl's pussy. What are you talking you about? You ain't see that? He know what I'm talking about? Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah, 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 nigga. You don't remember that? Yeah, but thing is, but I don't know about it. Like, Yo, yeah, about that I part, fucked with him for yeah, that. Yeah, but, yeah. Cause that was before she niggas was showing that they was wild. He was in a he video. Was at, he was at Heather Hunter's crib. Yeah. But but again, but again, the second album, <laughs> once I once I left, once I left, and once she, whatever, because niggas um had to go had to go bankrupt to get out of my shit. You know? Which, I mean, what do you mean? Like they had to buy because out niggas, the oh. you know, cause niggas try to get yo, niggas actually try to get niggas to come strong on me. The white boys? No, it's about Dave and Peter. They got management and got niggas from the, from LA and shit, niggas with his bloods and stuff like that and all that type of stuff. And I'm up there like, cause I laugh. And then just R and B singers trying to get blood. No, 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 if he's eating bitches pussy on TV, it, 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 yes. It, 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 not, not what are you talking about? It flex is just like you got you try to get management because no way I'm letting you go. So the only way it can happen if if it's strong arm that way mm -hmm. or bankruptcy. Mm -hmm. They tried the other route, and I was laughing. <laughs> Nigga, I'm from East New York. Nigga, I'm from Pink I don't care about anything about you talking about niggas is talking about what, what the other shit they been doing and how they, nigga, this, I don't know these niggas. You, this, you got to understand you this. About to be mad. You about to be mad as fuck yo, at me. Yo. I, I thought you was from Long Island no, all this time. No, 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 but I am from here too. Okay, all right. When you look at, because Uncle Murray used to be like, yo, Uncle, I used to always see you, but but, but I, I never saw you, because he's from East New York, too. Yeah. He was telling 50, yeah, Uncle's in the building. I just never got a chance to see him when he was around. But anyway, like when you look at certain people, and you be like, okay, I don't know Esso, and maybe he does get busy, but how can I be afraid of him? I don't know him. So when niggas be like, yo, homeboy, man. That's your scary ass. I don't know this nigga. <laughs> mm -hmm. You say that he gets busy exactly. or he's like that. But how do how am I supposed to be afraid of somebody who I don't know? So that's why when you heard these stories too, I said too at par with Shook Knight. He was always cool with me. Even in the height of his thing, and this is no flex too, in the height or whatever, he was mad cool with me. Cause at the end of the day, once I saw him at Interscope one day, and this is when EPMD had broke up. He was like, yo, um, where, where you going? I said, yo, I, I, I might sign with Def Jam. This is before I, I signed with Def Jam. And, and he was at Interscope. He said, yo, if you come over here, it'll be dope because we hold our niggas down over here. Mm -hmm. And he lifted up his thing. Mm. Right? <laughs> I said, no, I hold my own stuff down. 
And you showed yours? Exactly. Okay. You know, I don't, I'm too old to be capping or flexing. This is how niggas, <laughs> how niggas be. Man, that's how it was back like, there. Like, like, then, that's the music and business then, there. That's the old My business. homeboy D-Mac and my boy Tony, too, those are my boys. So when I got off the plane to Cali, I'm already, they, it's already passed to mm -hmm. me. You I mean, know? these are man filled, man filled crip niggas. And that's, again, no flexing. My, you're just talking your the, story. Two of my friends got murdered. I used to get off the plane and go to South Central, 29th Street in Arlington, where I used to just go there and chill all the time. When I got off the plane, I went to the hotel. I didn't go there. The next day, I found out that they killed my rapper friend and a female, shot them both in the head. I would have been there because I hang out like that. Remember Red Man say, I go to any hood, smoke a blunt with any nigga. Mm -hmm. Meaning that the hoods fuck with you if you go to it, but everybody can't do that. I can't mention no names, but niggas didn't, that when niggas used to go to Branson's, yo, yo, can you go get me a bag? <laughs> get out the car, nigga. Like you, you think that these people that you looking up to that's on these records spitting these rhymes. Sometimes you had to go in the building to get the shit at Branson. I'm saying, but they didn't get out the car. You know what I'm saying? I know that, but... They didn't get out the car. Because, because I'm giving niggas the vision, because the first time that you go up in there, you be like, that's it right there? This is what everybody was telling I, me I, about? But niggas know what they wanted. They didn't get out the car. <laughs> mm. <laughs> Listen. Seeing what Shook did with um, um, Tupac, did you have, have any second thoughts? Like, I wonder what that would have been. I, I never had no problems with that man. No, I'm just talking about when he talked about signing to him. Oh, okay, yeah, I, would, I don't know. I mean, that, 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 that was the best move for Pac, you know? No, but you, because it sounds oh, like... Oh, I would have went? Yes. Oh, I don't know how that would have been. I, I think about that all the time, if I would have made that move, you know? Um, to be, because again, I was, we was, I was asked. To come, to but your but your it seemed like it doesn't really matter because the move that you made to Dev Jam yeah, worked course. out for you tremendously. Absolutely, I don't think anything could have been any. Oh bigger. no, Dev Row was big. Come on, man. Yo, Shit, yo, man. He, what? could you imagine E Sermon, right, Dre, right, Snoop, yes, man. Pac? I'd have been right, I, nigga. Yeah, it's for real. I didn't look at it like that. Yes. Yeah, nigga. Production. Yep. And, and knowing how his, the thing about the Red Man and Method Man record that they had with Pac, how how big that was. Too. Well, that was dope too. Yeah. And, so no, and seeing how his career on. went, just like music, but, but, all but, of that would have. But, but I don't think that again too, because that other monster was there. That was Dre. And it was so, too so, 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 so I, I don't, know. don't think lot, it would have worked with you and Dre. I don't know. They was big too. They was West Coast niggas. It was a lot of danger. A lot of controversy. Maybe they wouldn't have even got to the meat yeah, and, and, would, yeah. and, and potatoes of pause of what that they would have. And plus, East had so to do. East Coast in New York, not in your world travel, but that whole conflict between East oh, and West. Oh no, I, I don't think that. I think, I think that would have no. That would have helped. I, course, I, think. I, think, I think that again in the day hmm. but because I think it would have. It, it probably would have helped it. It, it probably because okay. again the respect level was there. So whatever that probably would have went on. But listen, it don't matter, man. Hindsight's yeah, 2020, really. That's Dillinger. Mm -hmm. Two. People leave him out. Definitely. That motherfucker. As a producer. As a sure. producer. Yes. It's dangerous. Mm -hmm. And people got to go back and look at that and watch in the music that Daz Dillinger did uh, doing that, that run with Pac and everybody else too and Snoop and them too. That, so it would have been so. It would have been. So, 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 so you talking about. Me coming in, dealing with Dev and Dre. Dre. So my Dev's Dre move, <laughs> <laughs> you know, I'm by myself. Yeah, you know, you got you running the town. I'm by man. myself, it's different, you know. But I think that that helped you though. Yeah, it did. Because you because you got a chance to grow. But, but I knew I wasn't going. I knew business, I wasn't man. going. You know. I, I live in New York, and the Dev's Jam. The day I was just I was I'm there, so I wasn't going to. I was. I entertained it because it was brought to me. But other than that, now nah. I would have went. When you first saw Red Man and all that, did you think that he was going to mean this much to hip hop? He knew he was. As a DJ, he knew what he was? No, he knew as a rapper who he was. Mm -hmm. Because at the end of the day, Das Effects, Reggie came first. Das Effect came after Reggie as far as uh, in the crew. And Reggie was like, not too happy about that. 
because he was on deck next. But Das was ready. Like the records, when you heard, you know, they want effects, you're like, nah, this got to come now. Mm -hmm. So even though Reggie was there in 91 too, no, 90. The end of 90, so. But once he heard Das effects, it really, it really made him get more aware and was like, yo, fuck that. When I come out, I'm going gold. He was already speaking it, mm. you know, because I gave him the confidence, but he knew he was nice. Jersey was ill. Like, I, I, Tame one of them and, and all the outsiders, got, you see what Jersey was. Okay, them, them guys was already ill, you know, so... He knew what, what he had to bring to the table. He knew what he wanted, what he wanted to hear. But when he, again, he, it was a dream when he heard EPMD, when he said he heard, it's my thing. He said he lost his fucking mind. And all of a sudden, let me tell you the ill part. When I saw Reggie that night, he had no pen when I was leaving. Mm -hmm. So I told him my phone number. He said it took him two weeks in his head. It would be like three, six, eight, five, nine, three, one, one, eight. But that was my number at the time. Then he, boom. Can you imagine that? He had to remember this number. There's no way else to get in touch with me except for him to remember the number I told him. Different time. Ask him the story. He's, I said it. I've seen it in an interview. He kind of mentioned something similar to that. That's ill. That when you know that God's time is supposed to happen for you, yeah. remember the number? How do you administer your publishing since you're making, you selling 4% or you got 4% and you're getting 250000 and all this? How are you doing that? We just had the conversation. Um, Deborah Mann is, is my administrator. She's the sample clearance lady. At where? Where is she at? She's in the city. So you just go through a random No, no, sample? no, no, no. No. She, when you sign your publishing deal okay. with a publishing company, right? Yes. The publishing company is supposed to work for you, but they don't. It's supposed right. to go out there and license records and try to make money for you. Mm -hmm. They usually don't. Usually, ours usually get a check and that's all they see and shit never comes in unless somebody, somebody picks it. You get record. lucky, they get a commercial. They're like, exactly. I really like that song. There you go. And I want it for a commercial. Exactly. They really, then they call a publishing company. They really don't do shit. They don't do nothing. I know about right? that. Right? So at the end of the day, after a while, so you, so you asking me this question some, for somebody like me in Paris who own the publishing. Yes. We own the publishing. And that's who I'm asking about. So, so you go so you go to somebody who just who just licenses music and you sign a contract no, with no, them? No, no. just For some reason, they'll call like a Deborah. And then Deborah will be saying two, and then the phone call will either be, it mostly goes to him. So the phone call will come to me saying, oh, Eric owns the publishing. So they get call my number. Like Big Tank, who does Power, BMF, Raising Canaan, he's a music person. Mm -hmm. So he called Bernard, Bernard called me, yo, Tank on the phone. Yo, tell Erica I need six whatever, I'm, I'm trying to put this EPMD stuff in, is, is it cool? And they call me direct. So it all goes through chains now for people that's calling somebody else, which be the, the, the admin person, oh, and then okay. it comes to me. Okay. And then, and then, how do you collect it? You just put it in, and you got your own publishing company. Yeah, you no, know, it's, 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 it's ASCAP. Oh, you go through ASCAP. Right. I got you. What, did, what did it take you to get to this point? Because off camera, or, or we, sound royalties, mm -hmm. know, because that's digital part. Because um, you and Essel were having a magical discussion about publishing, uh -huh. and there's certain things you said that, first of all, you was like, if you ain't getting, there's money in the music business. One, this. Theory of there ain't no more money or it's dried up or there ain't money available. You're like, you're not in the business. And you were talking about what a, what does a hit record do as a rapper, a producer, a manager, a publisher, everything? Because you've been through it. So as you y'all both been on hit records mm. and contributed. What does it do for the people that don't understand? Again, this is my 36th year. Congratulations. Right? That's what that's what having publishing does. You can be 36 years down the line, and then all of a sudden something pop up, a commercial or something that happened for you. And that's the, 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 the That's the beauty of the whole thing. Yeah, that too, but also too, that the freedom? comes to you. Okay. After all that time. It has residual effect. You, you get rewarded. You get rewarded. Because I remember Esso sitting there talking to me when he was working his um, things together and how he's, he was explaining to me publishing and 
even on a low end what he gets per year. On a low end, he's like, the beauty of it is I can transfer it to my kids. You can. You're publishing will come for you forever. It might be high sometimes. It might be low. It might be low sometimes. <laughs> That's what I'm saying. You know what I'm saying? Yo, yo, let me tell y'all who it is. Because this is my nigga. So he's like, you know, I got some shit on Beyonce's album. And I'm like, I'm counting that shit like it's my money. Because he taught me the game. <laughs> I got a little, I got so a little I, 10%. Because my man a did, did a jumping, jumping. So oh, wow. I saw, yo, you see his face? <laughs> so I solved it like for years. <laughs> Him and what's the you know the other producer that did it? Him that and Damon. No samples. They couldn't solve it. I know my man Javon yeah, did it. Right. So they couldn't never solve it. So I came in like 10 years later, solved it. So what they gave me was I got 10% of his shit. Right. Right. So he calls me like, yo, guess what? What? Yo, she sampled jumping, jumping for the new album. I said, what? He sends me the credits. He was like, yo, you got 10% of that. So I called him, I was like, yo, I got 10% of a record on, on, on Beyonce album. Like some He's home. like, yo, when you get the money, I said, nigga. <laughs> no, I'm I, counting his I, money I said, like it's mine. I said, nigga, I, that, that record might not get striped for five uh, years, yeah, bro. Right. That's, that's but why. what stripe means? Because y'all understood it stripe immediately. Stripe everybody signs off on the huh. paperwork right. on every song, and they can say, they put the paperwork in and say, now everybody can get paid, paid. for it now. Yep. Because your mm. money technically sits there, and sometimes you escrow. see it accumulating, not even escrow. You mm. just see it accumulating, 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 but you can't get to it because e, e Sermon still has a problem right. with whatever, and they can't pay you out until they get his paperwork to say how many points he gets. Mm. All What's of it. his rate? Gotta come down. What was yeah. his advance on that? Now we got to debit that. And now this person can't get this piece because we got to give him full rate. We got to bust the whole record out this way and then you get paid. Especially when it's a whole bunch of writers and people like that, producers on their tour. He write about that. Mm -hmm. But since it was a single. No, but the jumping, jumping, no. I don't. I didn't get the piece of jumping, jumping. I got the piece of what they sampled. Oh, she, okay. So that's she different. She resampled jumping, okay. jumping for the Why new album. Why is it different? Album. Yeah, yeah. Why no, is it no, because if it was a single, she, that's why people would be wanting singles. Mm-hmm. Because you get performance work. Performance. The money is And that's huge. the money. That's what you get paid yeah, for we like, yo, I from the get, radio station. When, 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 when Rock and them used to be like, that, yo, they'd be like, yo, am I getting a single? Because because people, the album cut is cool, but you... The single. The single What's the difference what? in money? What? What? The, 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 it's a scale. It's a... On the, on the regular record, you get paid off the album. album. The, the, the album single royalties. is performance royalties yeah, every time that you hear it, 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 it and spun on the Everything. radio. See, this is the mm, difference yep. between streaming and radio, right? Yeah. So while all the kids is talking about the radio, radio, the radio is the cash cow. It's still power. That's the cash cow. It's, it's so, still running. So, when, so when, it, when it's cash cow, it's still going to dominate business whether you think you're going to get the records there from not. Because every time that record is played, $5 is generated, my guy. 250 to the 50% who made it, 250 to the person who write it. Whoever, however, that's divvied up. So when you got eight of a record playing 8,000 times a week, you know where they're getting paid from? That Tide commercial that's running on the radio. Mm -hmm. Tide yeah. is paying for your yeah, shit. Yeah, yes, I, I want to make it perfectly clear though, so people will not say, when I say 240, this is combined. This is not just me. This is also Paris is part of your customer. Okay, I got so it. So this, just the whole thing is 240. So we split the 240. But meaning that, like, what he's saying is, um, certain artists, like I, like I said before, The Weeknd is the number one streaming artist in the world. So that's why that money is so high. So imagine the Beyonce's, the, the, the Nicky's, the Chris Brown's, the, the, the Scissors, the Kendrick's, the Jacob, the, Jacob, the Kanye's, all these people. That you that's that big that you got a record on. That's why these young kids, they they these motherfuckers is rich. Cause I'm watching what I'm getting, not with four records. They got 50% of that record they produce. Yes, yes, yes. <laughs> they got 50 of the, Can you imagine that? <laughs> oh, feel good about him. Oh yeah. <laughs> he's, he's he's printing money. Yes, I, I kind of, I looked at, I counted him too. I was like at home, like Sam. This is just, just, just man. Like, <laughs> <laughs> yeah. doing the same thing. <laughs> because again, because after my shit came out, I was like, Yo, can you imagine what this nigga? These niggas is fucking. Hitmaker making a lot of motherfucking money too. Hitmaker, well, right, but see, 
this is what I said about, about that part. If he don't have a deal with his producer, then you writing, too, that's not the same money. Yeah, I know. As the producer. I know, I got you. You see writers who sitting there and they be like, damn, I wrote the record and they ain't living? Yeah, because he's not actually producing the record. He's yeah, going but, yeah, to a producer. Yeah, but, but again, it's like what you said. Maybe that his main man, he got to deal with. Because he does have money. Mm -hmm. But the writers usually don't, don't see bread like that. Yeah, but interesting. Because you, you got to have, the only way, I right, when mm -hmm. I had Rock Wilder and I had Big Draws, the reason why Big Draws could get an advance off of Rock Wilder's check because he agreed to it. Rock was a nice guy. Mm -hmm. They don't take care of the writers. So if Rock got 50000 Rock would say, yo, I'm going to give them 8000 They could get 4000 mm -hmm. a piece. Nobody was giving their writers that type of so, thing. So exactly. he's an exception. Right. He's an Which, exception to the okay. rule. The only time that usually writers get paid is if, like, E. Sermon say, but I pay him. Uh, I'm his man, yeah, 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 right? Yeah, yeah, and yeah, I'm going right, to be writer. his writer. It's like right. the dude that used yeah. to write with, 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 with Ronnie Jerkins that, that passed away. I can't remember his name. He was this ill writer. Oh, yeah, the guy, yeah, he was dope. Daniels yeah, yeah, or whatever yeah, his yeah. name, mm -hmm. right? Him, he's paying him. Of course, that's because, man. Because we're a team. Yeah, we're a team. That's mm -hmm. my man. You know I'm getting 100000 on the track. I Chemistry. can't look at your face. No, I, you know I'm getting 100 k. I can't look at your face every day coming in here and not pay you. <laughs> yeah. I, I'm giving you 10 k, and you're going to be happy because other niggas not giving nothing. But, but one thing about, about people like Hitmaker, why he's rich, because don't forget, it's the publishing deals. Yes. So, so he can make those writers make publishing deals. Yeah, he can have multiple. Yeah, so have I, multiple. I signed eight yeah. writers, I yeah. got eight publishing yeah. deals. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And so I see you have the 88 keys, the right. weighted keys. I love this. Right. Right? What's it going to take to get production back to what it used to be? Because it's not going to be. Technology took over. I mean, right here, still, with music theory. I know technology can make it faster and easier, just like how mm. with Pro Tools. And right. So we're never going to get that crisp sound, but mm -hmm. you don't think the production could get better? Because Esso had an incident with Jim Jones, not with Jimmy, but they were playing beats for Jim Jones and him coming up with rock and who you are. It's just like, no, this is trash. They wasn't. Well, well, they, well, it's, well a, not, but, it's, a new, it's a new era. I, but, but, but people like, pe when I was with, when I was, um, um, when I first started with, with Ye, mm -hmm. I walked in there, the ASR 10 on the table. Still the same machine. Yep. If, if, it's, not, it's, not, if it's not broken, you don't fix it. Mm -hmm. And then you see everybody that's online, Rodney Jerkins, Jermaine Dupree, everybody's still in the MP. Yep. The MP is still whatever. So people, that's the essence of it. The Brian, the Michael Cox, and everybody, they all still doing me. Yeah. They, they still, I, I, I play, so I have to, I want to have that. Whatever, and I'll keep the analog part of it to make sure that it's cool. All my producers be like, "Yo, damn, Eve, try to get you in the box. You know, we want you want you to get the new technology. So you know, so we bought all the machines, but at the end of the day, I I, I like a workstation because again, I like the the feel of the sampling and and how the sample sounds because it's still analog, it's still crispy, it still reminds me of my Roland W30 what I started off with. It still reminds me of of the, of, of the technique of it. I could go there, but then, but the sound that I that I'm used to making, this is what um, it, it makes, you know. So, so you're right. Some people are gonna, the ones that who are our era, some of them went to the new thing, but the majority of them, that that new, what's that new Akai that came out, um, the, the the new red one, like the NPC, but now with the you can take the stems, it's gonna become whatever. Everybody is still, they back on that. It's still reminding them of analog because it's still like an MP. So again, um, the new people would go, they are going to go to that. Mm -hmm. And you're going to hear more of the, the, more of the MP. But the majority of the people in the game use the MP. And the, the people like Manny Fresh use the SP-1200. Mm -hmm. You know, it's still Pete Rock doing Common right now. And I'm quite sure some of them beasts are on this SP-1200. You know? Do you think EPMD gets the credit that they deserve in hip hop? No. You know, because again, if if if, if, if we did, it, it'd be bigger. But I'm cool because the, my colleagues think that we're that. You know, the people who 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 are in the game. You think it was bad as, timing because of the nah, time that the, came bad out. Bad timing. They had yeah. number one record. No, I'm not I mean? saying that. But they, pe yeah, when people we didn't sell like that. As far as like you know, as far as having yeah. that, it was 
The we millions still don't understand. Right, we don't understand how we didn't. We like that. They didn't buy the. They didn't buy the still, records, and they didn't have the distribution. That's maybe it was mission. early. No, no, maybe the the first two. But when I got the Def Jam, it was the same. Hitting switches, it didn't go platinum. That's solo. So you sold more solo record. than you did with the group. No. Okay. All of it's the same. I'm talking about EPMD. Why didn't we go bigger after we got to a major? Well, y'all, were well, y'all playing on all the radio stations around the country? We, we wasn't a group like that, and for some reason we didn't. We had radio play, but didn't know why we didn't get more. Why didn't we go into the platinum status after the success and us keep having success? We stayed in one spot. Maybe the majority of us stayed in one spot, but Dasafix goes platinum over there with Sylvia Rome. But Sylvia Rome was a different beast. She was What's one. Them? It was a, no, it was, I'm going to say. Than, I'm going to say why I think that she was a different beast because keeping y'all at a certain level of selling and keeping y'all within those type of budgets was was able to control y'all. Yeah, it was that's. She, yo, she's yo, the it's type so of person. that Esso said that. She's the type of person that, that. I don't know how he knows that because. <laughs> because you're right. Def Jam was a budget thing. I know. And, and if we don't have to spend the money, we don't have to spend but, it. There you go. And so I'm going to make records, the same amount of money. The, the, the records was doing what they was doing and they was okay with that. And Sylvia Rohn is the type of she woman. Win. That, she's a winner. Buster Rhymes, Missy Elliott. She's going all the way. She's she going all the way. She's going all the she's going all the way. She's spending the budget. She's going, oh, we need Jay Z yeah. on Missy Record. Right, yeah. He's 150000 yeah. Get that shit to him. Yeah. We need to spend a million dollars on this to go over the top to be number he, one. He's right. He's it, right. It's just like when we talked to Consequence and he said that Kanye and niggas like Drake are focused on winning. 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 There are certain people that just were focused so on winning. being a winner. And the type of person that she was, she was going to win. He was in a system where, and she's a black lady, she's a woman, I'm proving a point on everything. He's in a situation where we the niggas. We making the money. Let Red Man go gold. Let EPMD go gold. gold. Let them go gold. Why? Because if they, they don't no pass sense. a certain plateau, you know what I don't have to I, do? I don't, pay them. I, don't, I don't have to pay you more money. <laughs> and he said it too. If you you start making more money, you become powerful, you become loud. And what did he say earlier? He was and he that's was, why the ones that did win was 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 their own situation. Irv Gotti. Yes. Made sure. He had a production Dash situation. Made sure. Production situation. Oh, Rough Riders. Rough Riders made production. sure. Production. Right. I didn't look at it like that. I was just label person. That you was like L L L L Cool J. Number one album. I I was number one and that didn't make no sense. I've got number one albums. But and, if I and take I you, I didn't move. Not only do I have to pay you more money if I take you to that plateau, I have to invest more money to get you to the plateau. Right. So it's all negative for them. Let him stay where he's at. Let him eat. If anything all breaks those, through, uh, even the first two. When you talk about strictly business, and you don't think you do, you don't see a platinum record on there. It makes no sense whatsoever. Even with independence, but I get it though. I think I saw a, a 50 Cent say this too, and Bobby Smith say this too. He says, when you see certain artists and they be big one year, the next year they come out and you be like, yo, what happened to them? Mm -hmm. The label stop spending money on them. Yeah, yeah. It, it don't be that, that the record be that bad. No. The record, so 50 Cent was smart with, with the Kanye West back and forth thing. Like, I can sell more records to have it. Yep. He created, that was he the beginning. Knew. That was he the knew he beginning. was going to sell more records than him. Yes. He, but he, he knew, oh, I got to start this hype. This is how I'm going to get these records. I can so 900, 650, hype. exactly. I can generate That's my own hype. So he looked and said, oh, okay, um, Jimmy Iovine ain't spending the money. How am I going to get these records? Well, that too, but also the fact that he knew that was the bigger, he was the bigger artist. And sometimes you got to realize, as far... 50 Cent shot up so fast, fast. it's only one way. It's the only way where you got to yeah. do that. It's only one yeah. way. It's like, yeah, there is no going Outcast up further. Outcast is the only group I see do this. Continuously. Like that. That was, for them to do a million, two, five, to it, ten. Like that was diamond in 03, bro. Yeah, but that was incredible. Yeah. But, but he said, too, once you come here, you can't go back up. You got to come down. There is no. Come down. So seeing how Hov has maintained, is that like just. Yeah, 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 yeah. But he did this too. Mm. 
the, the, the five million after he got the five million hundred life, that was it. That was he, it. he did it. That was, that was it. The, 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 no, like, it's like you know, it's yeah. like what you said when 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 platforms when they finally get Drake on their platform. Where you going from there? It's like you you reached the pinnacle now. Like mm -hmm. what else are you gonna give me from there? That's why Shannon Sharp is popping, right? Right. Because the cat. he he popped with Cat Williams. With Cat Kat Williams wasn't, and I'm not taking nothing away from you, Cat. But Cat wasn't the pinnacle. He wasn't, but he put that. But he hit a bomb. His performance. His performance. His performance was the pinnacle. But I, I think that's interesting because when I see um, we spoke about this. When I see Joe Rogan, he'll sit down with a person like an Elon. Right, right. Let's just be that equivalent. We sitting down with right. Jay Z, right? The very next episode, he'll sit down with somebody with thirty thousand followers, yeah. and nobody looks at it as he went backwards. He's though. white. I, I understand. But that. Sway does it too. So Sway be with the president, and then be over here be with oh, yeah, Sway, the independent nigga. I love Sway that. Part does. Sway does. Sway. Sway. Sway yeah. do put people yeah. on. Sway mm -hmm. do put people on. You know, it don't have to be a top notch person. But I see that happening within this culture oh, across yeah, culture. the board. Yeah, of course. Across the board, it's like, oh, okay, he had, he sat down with this, he sat down with that. Why can't you sit down with somebody who has a hundred thousand followers and you had a great, ex huh? I just look at it for the conversation. I, but you're an anomaly. You're not the. I, I, I get that, but we we we. That's what we, happened we, with Shay. Say that combo that he wasn't expecting, and that's what I say. He took a shot on him. Yeah. Like you know whatever, because it was cat. You know, mm -hmm. he's, still, he's still cat, but he took. A it was shot. the perfect yeah. storm. Right. But it's like it's like it's like when he was. I'm sorry. Hmm? So uh, Joe sat with Cat Williams, and they didn't do half what he did. But it's like when East Sermon was on the sway shit when he talked about the addiction and yeah. the pills. Oh, that was a and, moment. And, it was and a explained moment. about it. I was captivated because I was like, I, I, I wasn't expecting him to say this shit. It's, I think I didn't even know I, because the way he carries himself. Everything's a mystery, even from when your situation, when they say you jumped out of the building. You jumped out a window. You jumped out of the window. <laughs> but then it's like, did that really happen? Yeah, like, Is he alive? Yeah, but, but then yeah, when you like, say how much is... We thought you was dead, nigga. Like, you real shit. Die. Then, then they're the like, window. this nigga got green eyes. If you've never seen him in person, is that real? Yeah. Then they're like, yo, he has all the broads. We don't see it, but no one's deny. No one denies anything. But but let's let's go back because that's I know that's been mad years ago. Yeah. When the story came out, right? I thought that maybe if I'm out of window, so that means I'm out there too, flat, bleeding, ambulance, yeah, cameras, the whole nine. Somebody saw something. <laughs> so. <laughs> No, I'm just, I'm just saying. I understand, because you know, so, so the reality I, is real. I never thought it was going to go that far, because it was nothing no to, proof to, 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 to collaborate that what happened. Uh -huh. So yeah. I'm like, there's no, there's no way. But again, <laughs> what you hear, what you see, what, what, no, no, I mean, what you hear, you know, people like, you know, oh, yeah, you know. So this going back to that, like you said, I was like, I never thought it was going to get that far. Never thought that. And then Eminem says, like, Eric, Eric Sermon jumping out the window. I'm like, damn, now I'm in a ride. <laughs> like, you know. <laughs> I forgot M said Eric Sermon jumping out the window. Right? That's it. But, but, but stuff like that, I tell people, it's it, iconic it, just shit. Build, it builds people's legend. Yeah. But it's like, but, but, but how did you deal with it at the time? Because, like, people can't deal with social media, people not believing them, if it's negative, because it was like, oh, he got caught fucking a girl, a, a nigga's girl, he jumped out the window, broke his legs right. and all that. How, how, how did you just mentally deal with the I didn't controversy? Do, I, didn't, I didn't care. Because mm. it, it didn't stop my life. It's like what he said. It didn't stop the broads. It didn't stop my money. It didn't stop nobody. See, the ones that talked about it was behind my back. My friends never said nothing. My colleagues never said nothing. Nobody never asked me one question. That whole time, nobody never came to me and said one thing about it. I mean, because they must have saw you didn't have a broken leg and you well, wasn't busted. Well, <laughs> I, was, I went on tour with the meth after the whole thing had happened. And when I walked on stage at the House of Blues in LA, the place erupted because the rumor is I'm that. He's fucked up. So when I walked out, it was like, you know, so again, at the end of the day, I think that built your legend because they're like, "Hold on, that nigga really survived yeah. and healed and yeah, got yeah. away." Wait a second, the people that called that because again, it was an accident. So again, but this wasn't what the, what that was. So, but it was an accident. But the phone calls that came in from Usher, Prince, and people like that that was calling to see if I was okay, 
It just didn't happen with the way that it's, they said it happened. Understood. That was the part that was messed up. Is the fact that the way they said it with, with the drama. Mm. The dude came this and that, boom, boom, boom. We're like, <laughs> man, they, they really put this out here. They and tell they, the good thing. <laughs> so, so they tell the good at the end of the day, like I said, for it's 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 it, it's cool, you know, as far as so and so. But the only the embarrassing thing that happened that was true for the story I told about me getting robbed and stabbed. Now that right there was a real true story that was that was kind of embarrassing because you know niggas heard me talking. The EPMD shit on the records, so you know you're supposed to be that. Again, like I told you about niggas, I talk record shit the whole nine. Yeah. So, but I was dumb because I went back, you know, and I shot. But you was young too. Yeah, I was. Could have ruined Front everything. Too low wasn't developed. Could have ruined everything on just on the pride shit because I got robbed, you know. Do you enjoy the full circle moment because when you put out just like music and people found out what was needed to clear that song and the fact that 200 yeah and the money that was being made to everyone else and now yeah i'm getting this much off of this song and i'm getting this, and people like whoa yeah to, to, listen that's why again when you hear about pharrell and, and um homeboy getting sued what's the um chad ti robin oh, Robin, robin when they the eight million dollar they lost because of them um not saying something even though they say they didn't do the interpolation, but did they lost? Mm -hmm. Just make the phone call. Because don't forget the same story. The record was not supposed to leave my basement. But Nal Alexander stole the CD out the CD player, brought it to California to Clear Channel to a radio program um, convention, and then uh, he played it. But it wasn't supposed to leave my house. I made it for my personal usage. So again, that's supposed to happen, you know, in the yeah. I to B, because it gave me a whole nother life. Yeah. But at the end of the day, once the record was out there, um, the estate was able to stick me up. So now the record is bubbling. Yeah. So, so, the, so, so, the, so now I, I have to pay. Yeah. You know, so, because cause the label, and Clive Davis is Clive Davis. Unless you was going to white label it, and you wasn't, and he was wasn't going to white, it was it's a hit. Too late. It was a, it, it was automatic explosion. Automatic it was the biggest record in 2001. Did you know that that was gonna happen? No, I just told you they stole it. Mm -hmm. I only I made when the you work. made it. When you made no. it, did you think it had potential to explode like I, that? I, I, was, I was happy that I was making a record with me and Marvin, and I was listening to myself and how you it was, your how, how it would sound if if I was to do a record on them. So where were you when you first heard it? Where in, in California? I was on the steps of the W Hotel. And you heard it on the radio. Some white woman came and said, "Yo, your new song with Marvin Gaye was hot." Then the soundtrack came. So so so. And what's your react? Like, are you? I like, was angry at first because because mm. when I had put it, it, took me a minute to know that oh shit, Bernard stole my CD. Oh, B Nard stole it. Right. So so so. Oh, so, B Nard so, said so. B Nard set you up. B Nard did that on purpose because he heard something. Exactly. B Nard heard it. It pushed the button. So you so you left Bernard out. Yeah, because he knew that it was never going to leave the downstairs. He knew that because he know me. You know, producers, you know, we're like, like funny part, style. Would you, we mm. sit here and be like, I'd be like, yo, sitting there and be like, yo, be nah, like, nah, nah, you know, yeah, exactly. Yeah. The diplomat um, um, dude told us that he almost threw out different Arsenal. anthem. He said he had made five beats and that was the last beat and Dip said anthem was playing and he's like, whatever. And his cousin came and he's like, what you doing with that? He's like, I'm going to delete it. He said, nigga, that's the one. That's fire. <laughs> He and said, you're, he's the trash, the other yeah, one. Those are, those are stories. Yeah, those yeah. are still stories. He, he almost deleted shit ones. Exactly. Like, Yo, that's it. It's something about the creative. Like, these two niggas right here, these is creative niggas. And right. they get it. See, I'm a businessman first. So this creativity side, it always been in me. Rock taught me the vocal produce. Yummy taught me the vocal produce. Corey Rooney. So I've been given gifts of mine, but I'm a businessman first, right? But see, but see how creative people work. Y'all are just different niggas. Yeah. Like, y'all move different. Y'all think different. And, and that's why I asked you about, about the business side, because I see you are a real businessman now. And well, I try to do that with what I can do. Because again, you, you, have, you have to learn. Like you said, for you in here for a while, you can't just sit here and be dormant and just be like, 
people just do whatever. So you got to learn somehow. But did you want to learn because you had to, or you wanted to watch your I had money? To. I, I had to, because I wanted to watch that, too. money. Yeah, but, so that was, but so if you didn't have to watch your money, say you had him from the beginning, you I, have to watch your money, you I wouldn't did. give a fuck. But somebody had to wake you, got, you got to wake you up. That, that's a problem that we had. Don't forget, that was the kit. Management, accountant. Business person, that was the kid that came with the lawyer. Yeah, yeah, lawyer. you that said that. I said when we that. first started, he said you're gonna need this, this, you and this. I'm like, yo, bro, you need a lawyer, you need a manager, and an account. So, so I so had. He said that's the so kid. So however long it lasts, this happened that shot Kim and Latifah is fucking incredible together. Nobody lasts that long in management. It don't, it don't work that way. That's a, that's a whole career. But again, that's the kid, you know. But all these records that. You know, you hear like I told the story about the how high that shit, the niggas that wasn't supposed to be, they, that shit almost didn't happen. Was Bruce didn't happen? Was supposed to happen? The Marvin supposed to happen? Certain records ain't supposed to happen. When I was doing the last um, EPMD album, I didn't have a crossover. Mm. I had some other shit. Play the next man, Russell. I was trying to do another gold digger. Russell said, "You drop that record, your career is over." Wow. I went back <laughs> and made a song crossover. <laughs> Headbang I made for Cube. I didn't even have that up. That record was supposed to be for, I made that record for Ice Cube. And he didn't take it? I never got it to him. <laughs> okay, because because we're, not, we're in the studio now, all of us. I just put the beat on. And niggas and Reggie like, Negroes! And we just. <laughs> it's game over, over. nigga. Yeah. Yo, Beef Stout said that, you know, Dame's responsible for his own demise and his antics messed up the business with Jay Z. That's what. Hey, that's yeah, what. I'm that's sitting what, like, but like. That's what he said. He just said. Well, what, what, what like, I'm, I'm saying. They don't that, like loud. I, 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 the I think, I, I think is that loud. again. He was that's the, interesting. He was the genius, but what Steve is saying is too is what I'm saying. It a, almost sounds a, like a, a rivalry, thing, as he said. It's like. a small little thing too. Whatever. When you you supposed to. Dame is supposed to have that on him. Yep. He's supposed to watch out for the groups. He's supposed to watch out for his for his business. He's supposed to, but we don't know that. That us speaking up is gonna hurt us. This is crazy. He's being penalized for protecting the right. black man. You like know, how you've been penalized. You know what? I've been penalized, but you know what he I'm, I'm gonna tell you what he's been penalized for. What's We're up, gonna move on. When that that coat performance at backstage, that was the ultimate because not only was he right. He embarrassed them niggas, and he embarrassed them camera. niggas on camera. I just said that forever. Yeah, that's what I said. But that on camera embarrassment is ill. I know, but too, too, but still, don't in front of when this these people that hired you, that brung you in, and they feel that you owe them. They feel that way, no matter what, and then you kind of go against. Uh, Tom, you got to go. Mm. No matter how right you might be. Think about the famous time when they was all there and, you know, everybody, Rockefeller was going crazy and Jay-Z was just staring off. Remember that famous clip where right. he's just staring off and people don't know what's going on with him? Yeah. He's just lost. He's gone then. I thought yeah, that was... Bleak said that mm. on Dream Team. He said, he said, he said, he said, Hove had been checked out. I thought when he did the stare off, that was because he felt like he had his moment with the whole Michael Jackson Yeah, that could have been that too. But no, that was the, the consensus. I came that out was... that night. Really? That night was EPMD came out, and then Mike came out after us. So you knew what was going on, or you didn't, did you know he was in the building? Yeah. Hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I'm telling you, he was, he was gone. Like, mm. you just see certain signals of different things that's going along. Mm -hmm. And sometimes people, they, you, 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 you go along because you're at the point that you have to to push your business forward. But as soon as you can break away and do whatever it is that you want to do, you're going to break away. And people going to be in his ear. Nigga, Michael Jackson could have been in his ear. Michael Jackson could have said, why you got all these niggas on the stage with you, bro? Right. That's and, and right then and there, everybody's Mike, fired. Yep, Mike Jack said it. Right, right. If that happened right then, yo, yo, E, why you got all these niggas up here and you bringing me out? That's not professional, E. Not professional. Yeah. You're looking crazy. And you know, this is all hypothetical <laughs> that he's saying they could say is something, but being in the music business, entertainment, that is so plausible. It's so real. Yeah. That's real shit. You, you seek advice and guidance. If, if he tells us something about how to take our show forward or how to make money or how to have um, staying power, 
That's gonna carry. That's that's gonna mean something to me. Mm -hmm. It's nobody else that could tell me these All things. All I know is the fact that what y'all doing right now, and Esso would tell you because he's been in this shit for a, a, whatever. People can want to be in this game. You got to be built for this shit. Yes. That's why drugs come into play, suicide come into play, um, um, all this stuff coming into play from from all down from the '50s and '60s. Everybody doing heroin. This game, Q-Tip said, it's 19. You know, record business is shady. Like <laughs> this shit right here. You see what happened to Britney when she shaved the hair, or the Lindsay Lohan's, or the Kurt Cobain. Where you can keep going. That the, the DJ AMs is. I, I can't name everybody a few, but. Niggas Marvin is Gaye. fucked and Marvin's because we, 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 at the end of the day, this shit will drive you to something because mm. it's not right. It's, 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 it's the wickedest shit. And even when it might have some good shit, there's people still fucking you. So the why do we love it so much? I'm going to tell you. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and that's, yeah. yeah. I'm just telling my sister. Where the fuck yo, do we love it? I told sister. Hold on. No, hold on. It's, it's I just told everything. my sister. My sister oh, let me hear this. Wait, wait, wait. I said, I said. This is the Kim Sermon, who's like my partner. I said, Kim, I want to stop, but, but, but I don't want to stop. <laughs> me, 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 meaning that. I understand. And, and she understood where I was coming from because I'm like, yo, I put myself back in here. I was already chilling, but no, I want to make another, I want to make a project. Let me yo, tell you something. I want to, I want to, I want to, you know what I'm saying? This music business life, this entertainment life is out of this world. Just think about when we were all at Say Less. That shit was a movie to everybody else but us. But us. Yep. I'm talking to you. <laughs> Bookie's there. It's all business. That was the same night yeah. Jim Jones came. Amen. He pulled out 100 bands. Rock Matt Rock came. Bro, Math yeah, came. Yeah, 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 that's yeah. right after y'all left. He yeah, came. I heard about that. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. yeah right. So this whole shit is a movie. Then Jimmy's like, yeah, Math, I pulled out 100K. Where your 100K at? I'm like, it's a, this it's, shit don't even seem it's real. A, it's, a, it's, it's a lifestyle yeah. that people just dream of. Right, yeah. And it's like, even at the Say Less, when I left there, I always tell him because they never had a chance to experience the music business. From when, you, when I wanted that. Hey. So <laughs> when we leave and Say Less, as soon as we walked out, I said, this is why niggas love the music business. Mm -hmm. It's girls in there. It's free drinks in there. Free weed. It's food. You're giving away free weed. Yeah. It's exclusive motherfuckers in there. Now, I'm going to go the opposite <laughs> of you. I walk out, I, I said, what the fuck was I was just in there, <laughs> I'm like, I am the old head in this motherfucker. And I'm like, these motherfuckers is different. Yeah. <laughs> like these young people and these people are meeting these people and they up here doing this. And this is their party. Oh yeah, yeah. this is their party. Don't, this is, they, don't forget, I'm at in LA at a Warner party, the Warner two, because mm -hmm. that's our shit. I walk in there. So, there's seven girls sitting down there with their cameras, right? Yeah. The boys on this side. Nobody's conversing with, yeah. like, like, as far as, like, mingling, not talking to no girls. The DJ playing the dopest shit. Mm hmm But nobody's conversing. Niggas like that. This is, but, but to them, yo, it was dope. That is lit. Yeah. <laughs> it was lit in here. So, but I go to the African party at 300, they are wilding in yeah, there. Yeah, yeah. Partying. Party. Because this is what, we gotta put this, we gotta make this, y'all skipping this whole shit about where the music is going to. The about Afro beats. Yep. We got time. Well, we got time. No, no, I'm we gonna be no, late time. No, no, I'm saying yeah. that, 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 that we didn't, you, you probably bring it up, but people that are not bringing it up and seeing that the reason why they are doing it and signing so many Africans because. They don't notice that our music and our sales are going down. But is that on but, purpose, though? But listen, their countries are going to support them. So now they got mm. their countries plus us. Double so whammy. now they like this. Come and on, that, that's... listen, you think Beyonce knows did that record because she wanted to do it, because she was doing it. So she's seen that. She know that the country's coming. She yeah. saw it. And now you're like, yo, because country was up here. We had. Ratchet and the whole nine, this not this and meanwhile, the fucking game is passing us by. Yeah. Is it intentional that they want black music to fail? No, listen. No, no. I don't know if it's intentional, it's just the way that it's going. No, no, no. Listen, you, you, let's these go. motherfuckers are greedy. They don't want to give black people more money because money comes with power. 
E. You've also said that we're boisterous and, and we're loud and they don't like that. They want us to be silent. The best way is this number one source that's benefited everybody. Lawyers have benefited from hip hop. Doctors, Everybody's everything. Crazy. Everybody's benefited. Rich. Yeah. And we're not transferring to any other music genre. We stayed in hip hop. Yep. Let's bring it down. And we saw the moves. You, you was like, are they trying to make black music fail to stifle our power? You could be problem? having something. You're not wrong. I'm saying, listen, everything, this is, the system is this just... Is, I don't think that they're trying to make it fail, right? right? Mm -hmm. Because they're so greedy, mm -hmm. right? The white people are putting more into their music still. That's what you got to understand. Yo, oh, will you stop? Because now, <laughs> again, this is... No, this nigga... Pay, <laughs> this is a pimp. I, I, I'm gonna give you. Can I stop you for one second? Yeah, do your thing. I'm at the Grammys. You know my seat. I'm watching all the groups up there. I said the same shit as I, I said. Mm. Look at them. They got money. And all of them succeeding. They're not. And then, yo, yo, no. They're not they're, making it be yo, 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 just wait, in the wait, studio wait, wait, wait. and put they, in their room. They, all of them was winning. Every last one of them is still winning. I said the same shit. I'm like, yo, look, nobody's saying this. Yeah, they making it. sure that they still winning. They putting and, money. And, and they making sure that this part, because you're right, in a way, it's too much power. Hip hop, them t it, it, it was too big, too long. Mm -hmm. and, and, and even though it might be a, they might say, say we're 20 millionaires. It's too many million, it's too many. How about this? Many, it's 22 million. Think about, think about too much money. Think exactly. about the embarrassment. No, you right. Cash money oh, did. Oh, they had to the record. They embarrassed white people but, when they got that. No, no, hold they're on. They're not really embarrassed. No, 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 the no, fact no, no. That They never thought it was going to be like no, that. No, but, but, but I know. To still we, have, we, to still we, have 85%? We've yeah. been around white people. Yeah. There's nothing more offensive than a black nigga doing what he did yeah. in a deal that's not meant for them to win. You said this, this music industry wasn't meant right. for, for us to succeed. And to watch them pull that, right. that's embarrassment to their culture. I know, but, I know, but after a while, they didn't know that it was going to be this successful. After a while, the embarrassment comes in. Now. Because now, now baby later. them got 85%. It just hit. It's like all that money. Because now nobody got nothing. Nobody got now, nothing. Now, now, now it's like 85% like, yo, will never God, get damn. this deal. Oh, that's they'll a wrap. Oh, boy, it didn't really matter. And, and, and they got to give up 85% Because everybody was Drake, making money. Nikki and fucking Wayne. Forever. Forever. <laughs> Forever. That's embarrassment. Forever. Yes, that's embarrassment. That's one of the ones, but yeah, that's later. But yeah. that's but that's later, and that's and and that's a rare deal. And yeah. to make my point, they was putting money into their product. Mm -hmm. Black people don't be putting money into their product. They just we throw it this up. is what we do. We want to find the E sermon. We want to meet Boogie. And Boogie's gonna put the record out on him. Yes. And Boogie's gonna bring him yeah, the East and Sermon. Sermon yes. And the East Sermon's gonna bring him to the label. label. That's not how the white people doing it. Yeah. The white people got the hedge fund, then they say he's gonna be dope. Yeah. We're gonna record the whole album. We're gonna do the singles and we're gonna call, we're gonna fly all the labels in yep. and see which one wants to deal with them and tell them we already have 1.5 million to help market it and promote right now. We want you to match our dollars. Go mix the record with whoever, whoever, and let's put this out. And I have money to do other things as well. We already have our stylists already. That's how they're coming. Streamline. That's how they're coming. They're coming. So who's going to turn you down? Nobody. Nobody. What did you say? turning you They're coming to win. They come in to play. We come in to play, and they come in to win. And, and us as black people, we do have enough niggas. And I, and I, I'm going to say this. And, and no, stop. It's, we're not coming. We're not coming together. They're going to be mad. No. We know we're not coming together. I'm glad he said that. Yeah. But we have enough niggas with enough money, enough power. You talking about Universal starting the streaming service, nigga? You see what Jay did with Tidal? When 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 he decided to start Tidal, Nikki, give me this. Yeah, he's calling niggas to say, give me this. You know what I'm saying? And, 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 and once you do that, we yep. coming for you. That's you what I was going to say. No You're matter what, over. you would never. The Bill Cosby will never buy CBS. You never just not everything. As soon as you come, he went to jail. It, 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 it's, so it's, 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 it's a certain thing, too. Again, you got to go back to Puff. Puff did nothing wrong until that Casa Amigo came out, and he said, "Oh, this is racist. You pushing this alcohol, then you pushing mine." 
He said, this is racist. So Rock, Actually, you know, whatever. He started going down. Non-stop. It, it don't, it, I'm just giving an example of, of, I remember. of, of, of how, how no matter what, soon as we get to a situation, whatever, and you try to do something start extra talk above crazy. and start talking crazy or try to get above something they don't and like feel loud. you to you right. Why don't we have our publishing company? How come we don't have this type of power? How come we can't own mm -hmm. um, stations? Why we can't? Because they would never let it happen. The Puff, you can be loud down there, but, but you can't be loud the best example, up here. Talk about all your nigga friends, but don't say we racist. The best example is Tulsa, Oklahoma. We had our own city. The white people, they didn't want anything they to do with us. in our own country. We built our own, our own Black Wall Street and said, nah, nigga, we're going to burn this down. So now if you were to sit here and build a streaming company, you know what's the first thing that would happen? What we saw happen yesterday. What happened yesterday? I don't remember. Facebook and Instagram was down. Yeah. They'll call the hackers right away. <laughs> Shut this nigga shit down. Eric Sermon has a streaming. How much is he pulling in? One billion a yeah, month? I know. Boom! Okay. Shut him Zap down. Zap that motherfucker. I even think about the Tory Lanez thing. Because when Tory Lanez gave the secret. Yup. He said that. I was like, I was like, yeah. no. I was like that. I was like, he, I, I was like nah. There was too much information because he's just truth. If Drake go independent, the whole game is shut down. It's a problem. And you know what else is crazy? Every person that's been talking to me about coming in the labels and they're doing stuff. You know what's the number one thing they're saying? Talking about saying, you're telling niggas too much. Yeah. He's like, yo, niggas want you back, but they scared if you know more shit, you're going to tell more shit. <laughs> yeah. Fact. But the fact, though, too, the secret is already out. So it's up to you to, to they know this. So you still so you can go in there and talk. I don't think at this particular moment they don't think that you know. They know you know. It's all on they want to play ball with you or not. And it goes down to the record and what you holding. Like you and, know, I, I, if I got that record time, they're gonna be like, yo, okay, you know. We uh, it's because, cool. Because don't forget, but, but a percentage of something is <laughs> better than a, exactly. Yeah, and also they're also gonna be afraid of you because remember what Puff said to you when you talked about managing him. What did he say to you? He didn't tell me, but he told um, okay. the other people that were trying to get me the job. Dudes, back that was back. That was like 2015. Yeah. What did he they was say for a manager? Right. He was he. They claimed that he said like I can't tell Randy what to do. Okay. You know what I'm saying? So these like, other people are power. They're like, gonna, I'm can not we hire tell this Randy? I was like, you can tell me what to do for a half a million dollars because right, that was right, how much. Because right. that's how much the, the, the shit was. Chuck Bone, I'm going to say it online. Chuck Bone was trying to get me the job. Chuck Bone was like, why would you give it to, um, what's the dude that got um, CJ? What's the Spanish dude? Oh, um, Bimidina? Bimidina? No, not, not him. Morales? No, mm -hmm. not the dude that got little CJ. Oh, um, you know him. Um, he does a raise a radio guy. Um, you know him, him. Yeah, I know, I know. Him. He was Puffy's manager. And, and, right, he, Spanish and he, dude. Yeah, uh, and he got the gig. He works for guy. G Unit. He works for yeah, G Unit yeah, yeah, too. Yeah. James, James Cruz. Cruz. James Cruz wasn't the manager yet. Mm -hmm. He was about to be the manager. And Chuck Bone was trying to get me, trying to get Puffy, like, yo, give this nigga the job. And Puffy was like, yo, I can't tell that nigga what to do. And it's Puffy. And not and not because he couldn't order me. I know my job. Yeah, but if Puffy can identify that, guess who else can identify that? Dumb white people. That's just real shit. I mean, I That's know my job. I know before, before <laughs> I knew the, the situation as far as when that, that, that name Gatekeeper came, yeah. never believed in that before. I believe in it now. I believe in it now. I believe mm. in the fact that certain people that can't get in <laughs> because it didn't match. It didn't match what the fuck I was doing out there. Mm. My wall, I can't hear nothing up there. I but, see it. But niggas talk about what they did. You, you not me, nigga. How the fuck I didn't get there? I did that. I, I be yo. Yo, I, yo. I, yo, I, yo, yo. So, yo, so I'm, I'm like, so I'm like, can't put the finger on it. But, but, but I believe in it now, that gatekeeper shit, like, and I got a few names I won't be with, whatever. Yeah, I, got, like, I got some motherfucking yo, yo. names, so I'm too. Like, I'm like, <laughs> man. How the fuck? Yo, listen. I used to be in Buster's house, and this is real shit. Buster introduced me to Callum, and Callum used to record right in the back room. I'm not gonna say where Buster, because I, I, I heard he still got the crib right. now. And Buster, who's born the mother, Buster used to tell niggas, introduce yourself to Randy now, because he's gonna run the game. 
Mm. Introduce, make make sure you know that's a Khaled. Nobody remembers because I had show you I was young. Introduce yourself to him now. When I was a puffy, yo, run with me. I'm the OG, you the G. Everybody know what's gonna happen. But as soon as I was on some shit like, nah, <laughs> I can do this by myself. I know everybody. I'm finding the talent. Shit was gone, nigga. Mm. Bernard Alexander. I want to bring his name up again. Bernard. Bernard. I got to bring up Bernard. Nas Fuji's Brownstone, right? Akon, right? This is looking at all this shit that I'm looking at before, and then coming up. And every time I look around, I'm looking at Bernard and all the connections. Every time he's somewhere, his hands is on it. Mm. How are you not an exec? Didn't make no sense to me. Because I'm like, damn, if you get into we all, whatever, because I'm looking at the part, I I'm creative. I can name tons more names. You look at the tanks, they all mention his no, fucking Alexander. name. I mentioned his name. It's the same nigga. I told you if anybody can get us a deal or a situation, well, it would be good. No, nah, nigga. Be, so again, <laughs> but somebody told him, mentioned no name, told him, yo, you're never going to get in here. He was told. Wow. They don't want you. You never get it. You don't, you don't play ball. Either you're going to be over here, getting dick in the ass, or you out there. You got to play ball. Two things. Don't forget, there's two things. You got to play two different things. You have to, this shit, this other game part is real. You know that, SO? Yeah, I know. That game is real right there. That's the guy. I got to be able to put, be put in the mix, and you must be in the click. And if you don't play ball on that side, then this side you got to play ball in. And if you don't do that, then you can't get in here. Can't get in here. That's why I told you when Puffy met me, he was like, how the fuck did you get in here and I didn't know you? How the fuck did you make money and I didn't know you was making money? Because somebody's supposed to say, yo, this dude, there's another dude, there's a young dude, yeah. there's a what's going on. It, it, it was a fraternity. See, it's wide open now because of social media. Yeah, yeah that's, that's what I said. Poor things is Yo, very different. It's yep. shit wide open. open now. This nigga don't even remember the first time I even met him in, nope. in the car in California like with he Paris Hilton. I told I him. Know, yeah. He don't even remember. I was just started managing rock and they had to keep pulling the car over because I was so drunk and excited. I'm here with EPMD and Red Man and yeah. all these niggas. I, and, 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 and rock like, Yo, jump in the trunk and I jump in the trunk and I'm like, oh shit. I mean, Oh, I, I've arrived, nigga. Straight up, and I'm right. fucking going crazy. I'm like, pull this motherfucker over, and he was the coolest nigga. He said, yo, let this nigga out to pee, yo. Right. I was so embarrassed. <laughs> I was so embarrassed because they had to pull shit over like two, three times. I'm talking about pissy, drunk, going to the next location, nigga. And after hearing your story right now, too, and I don't want to, that's what made me bring up the gatekeeper shit. Because again, why wasn't you? Because again, no, you got to answer the question. He has and, no. He has and, the answer. And, 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 and then, and then, and then getting the, then getting a phone call from a nigga as big as Puff to say, "I want you to manage me." No, I wanted that call. Chuck Bone was trying to give me okay, that but still, job. But, 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 he was trying. Still, he was trying, but, but, he was trying to give me that job. That's beyond a one percent of situation. Exactly. No doubt. That's beyond a one percent. That's zero 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 trillion trillion. How many other people can say that in the exactly? Fuck, no fuck, doubt. Fuck life in the yeah. industry. Well, shit, I mean, I had master. Dr. Dre said I was a, the best manager and the most talented manager he yeah. ever seen in his life. And I and that was when he was 20 years in. I was managing Rock Wilder, and I had Yummy, and I was working the boards, yeah. doing vocal production, taking down beats, telling niggas this shit is wrong, rewrite this shit. You know what I'm saying? Right. But it's, Being it's, vocal. It's, it's still, it's still, like, for, for me, I try to tell people as a manager, in order to get over the hump, it's your talent. It's like a coach. When you're coaching a basketball team, you can coach all the way you want, but it's better when you got LeBron and Kobe and Shaq, nigga. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? So it's about your team. I had Yummy. She's supposed to be the biggest deal. Rihanna was Rihanna was signed. Really? She wasn't the biggest deal. Trey Songz was signed. Neo was signed. None of them was the biggest deal. It was her. They all made it. Yeah, but it's like how he yeah. said it. Like, <laughs> look, at, look at the team he had from Reggie. Even you said Wu-Tang. Came in through you in some form of Raekwon said in the interview, I almost signed with Eric. Mm. See, listen, man, when people, I got to bring it up again to, and, and over here in, mm -hmm. on your spot. When I tell you, I met Wu Tang in 1989. My Bernard's father had a church, Staten Island. He took me to go meet Raekwon. 
While I was in my Iraq, I saw half of the Wu-Tang Clan, that, or, or majority of them, maybe all of them. There's a picture with me and all of them on the Iraq. Mm. At their building. I went to Raycon, Raycon's building, sat down on his steps. His name was Shala. That was his mm. name. We sit there and we talk. And then um, somebody's podcast, he said, yeah, I almost signed with Eric. Right? My boy D Mac bought me game. They went to Fox Hills Mall. I told Game, yo, spit 16 bars. Game didn't know what 16 bars was. He spit 40. He didn't spit nothing. He just oh. used to rhyme. Oh. But when you That's hit it, so when you hit an interview in Vibe, he says, I almost signed with Eric, but he wasn't ready. Ludacris knocked on my door every day. Ludacris got signed to Def Jam. He called me. He said, where should I go? Silver Rome or Def Jam? I said, go to Def Jam. Bernard bought me Biggie Smalls at a barbershop. I didn't even look at him. <laughs> the, 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 the story was I already had my thing. Make sure you know Puffy and Hype Williams shoot my Hit and Switches video. Biggie Smalls right there, do every scene. He tells Tracy Waples, I got to get on Eric's album. But I already had my own crew. And then Jam Master J, rest in, rest in peace, had a kid named Joe Sinister. So I, 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 so I was I already had somebody else that was outside the camp already on it on the on the album. Mm. There's nobody to say that there's no cap, but Tracy know that she know, and 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 and, and Puff will tell you too that his biggest his favorite group is EPMD. That's Puffy's favorite group. Yeah, that was my favorite group you know, too. So, but, but but I'm saying so when you look at <laughs> but, but I'm, I'm saying so um um what well, Nas used to live in Corum. 64. Mm -hmm. Bernard bring him to the studio. I don't understand the language of Queensbridge and the, 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 the <laughs> whatever, because I'm from here. Mm -hmm. And all my rappers have, you know, their own style, but it's not, it's not the street style, mm -hmm. right? So I was giving him regular beats. Mm. He did a couple. I wasn't taking it seriously. Nah. After, after he leaves there, Bernard takes him to Pete Rock. I was I could have been on Illmatic. That's the biggest mistake of my that I look at myself <laughs> that Yo. I look at right now that I wish I could have been on that, you know, at that time. I mm. missed it. I, I think when you're in this industry, everyone I've ever met has those stories. There are people, I remember I was trying to get a Drake interview, and they were trying to pull a fast one to make certain things happen. I barked on everybody. And everybody I barked on became somebody. Wow. <laughs> like, it, it was a whole staff. And yeah, I'm talking about... They was attached to Drake. Yeah, yeah they, it was... A, it's like, can you do this? Like, Get the fuck. You promised me this. This is what it was. And every single person is a big wig. Yeah. And that's just a minimum. I remember even... Yeah. Like, we all got multiple... Well, when yeah, I, you, yeah. Well, when I was doing Black Street, because I did Booty Call, the first single when they first came out. Yeah. I didn't know you did booty call. When I was at Teddy's, me, that's all right. Yeah, stop playing with him. Nobody. I didn't know you did booty call. <laughs> unless you're going to go and, and do Google and fuck around with <laughs> him, you like, yo, for real. I just, I, the niggas is silent because don't, don't forget, nobody talked back then. There wasn't no social that, media. That's true. When I was doing Black Street, there was two kids in there, and they was Chad and Pharrell. Oh, man. Right? So Pharrell had this other singer that was, that was singing, but Pharrell said, yo, I rap. So I said, come in here and come rhyme. So I put Pharrell on two songs. If you go on YouTube right now, you will see a record with me, Pharrell, and Teddy Riley called Boot Knockalization. You hear Riley. Knockalization? Yep, whatever the, 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 the name that they, Teddy recorded, this and that, that mm -hmm. and this. So before that, this is people who I came across, you know? Don't forget, Young Bird used to live in my house for six months. He became hit maker later. Mm. But this is somebody who, you know, these people, 50 Cent was in my basement. Rick Ross stepped on my basement floor. How do you get on Shaq's food? Yeah, because Shaq called me. He's the only one that went platinum. Yeah. I did yeah. that first. When I tell you nobody is me, no one. <laughs> they, they, they can talk about... They, 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 they can, I love this. They, they, they can talk about... Of course, they did maybe made bigger records. Yeah. But I... Everybody came through me. At one time, there was that phone. If you was a singer, a rapper, or whatever, look on that wall. But again, 
I was always a humble person. And again, there was no social media. So people only found finds out later. Like yeah. people still be like telling me, yo, you, you know Reddit Meth? <laughs> yo. <laughs> you know, they listen, I'm telling you. That's so, believable. So, 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 so when I'm, they hear 4321 and be like, and they hear the record, they be like, yo, oh, you made that? I, I forgot you made 4321. I'm just giving you a little questions how how people look at certain things and be like, because again. You will never know this unless you sitting there and you, you know, as I mean, we as read producers. credits back then, but it was a, it's yeah, a wild. Yeah, but you know what I'm saying? People don't it wasn't the same. So I'm just giving you a little did you ever try to People still be asking questions. Since you made that beat and you had a hand in it, did you ever try to slow down that collision that was going to happen with LL and Cannabis? No, because don't forget, Cannabis was Death Squad. Mm. If you play Heat Wave on 50 Cent, he says, 50 Cent, baby, Eric Sermon, Death Squad. He don't say nothing else. That story with Corey Williams speaks that they bring him to my crib. You heard the Corey Williams. That's the yeah. true story. Knock on my door and be like, "Yo, it's my man, 50. Well, Corey was on our and, show. And, and Bernard Man is. Oh yeah, it was your show. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Bad <view. laughs> Ain't nobody interviewing Corey Rooney. Corey Rooney ain't having nobody else at his crib exactly, and all exactly. that. So, 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 so on your show, <laughs> the story was told. You know what I mean? So at the end of the day, like, yo, like, you're right. If 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 I can be able to, yo, this is my first time people hear me talking, because I was a person that was never gonna big up yourself. Yeah. Over it was, because it wasn't something that you felt good doing. Like somebody else supposed to talk about you. Exactly. Yeah. But when I got older. My mom said, Eric, you was, my mother died eight months ago. Mm. Best friend with cancer. So she's like, only thing about you, you humble to a fault. Mm. But I'm, I'm happy because this is how my career supposed to go. And that's why when you hear me, niggas don't, that don't know me, that talk about me, you don't know me. But my respect rings. That's how I last in this game that long. The respect niggas got for me. Because I did shit for free for niggas. I helped niggas out. I gave niggas money. I put rims on niggas' cars when I had the, the rim shop in Georgia. You know, you, you'll see the freak, I mean, that freak movie that's coming out. Yeah. You see me narrating them. I talk about some of the stories. But other than that, again, this is what my career was. So I don't know nothing but to be humble. Like Denzel say, you never saw, you never gonna see a U-Haul truck behind, um, behind the hearse. You won't see it. Only you go. So while I'm here, I don't want you to be like, that nigga Eric's an asshole. Mm -hmm. I don't want that on me. So the only part I knew was to be the nice guy, you know. But it's better that way because look what happened. It gave me the respect last now the to board. be in here in this game for me to fucking pick the phone or go to a DM and niggas be like, yeah, of course. So when you hear the dynamic duo album coming and you hear the people on the record, you know, nobody charged me a dime. Snoop Dogg is two fifty. Wayne is two fifty. Game is 150. Free. Not to put their kids stuff out there for niggas to be thinking for but it was just a respect it's level levels. of it. It's levels, yeah. Free. Cypress Hills, free. Mob Deep, free. MOP, free. Now, now I'm glad you now I'm glad that you're saying this. I want to jump in right here, pause. Where where you how are you gonna promote your product, your your um, project? Because when I'm talking, I, I deal, I still deal with radio people and, yeah. and market promotion. And the hardest thing right now is is finding places for like a LL Cool J to I'm, expose I'm not, I'm not looking his at project. That. I don't care about that part. So what you thinking about? I, I just wanted to show people that this, this, they can still make records. It's a, I just know that we was, my age group was still living. They stopped making records. Why? Because somebody kicked them off the label, told them they couldn't. So I just made phone calls, like, yo, you, I want to make a record on you. Was it a money thing back then, though, when you, when you got kicked off the label because studios was cost more, no, we, mixing and mastering, and we didn't know that that other side of the business, getting CDs made, distribution, but now it's easier because you can put it on, because you can do it it's digitally? There's two things. It could be that, too, but it's also, too, that we, we know too much. So we knew that we was getting jerked. We know, yeah. So after a while, you be like, yo, we don't want these niggas. These niggas are going to start asking questions and start boom, boom. We're going to get these niggas that don't care that these niggas- You got the experience. Cool. We need them. We need that. But is this, that why they keep finding younger I, generations? But you answered the question. That's why they got rid of us. 
They got rid of us because, we, we, because, because after we started, we can pay more money because now we know now, things, whatever, we want to deal with no aggravation. We're going to get rid of all y'all niggas that before because y'all done got smart. Y'all too y'all loud. The game, whatever, you know the game. I got to pay money. You got smart. Been renegotiating the contract the whole nine, but this new nigga who is hype. He going to be happy. And ignorant, he's happy. And that's what happened. What's it like being in the studio with Kanye early on? It was dope. The, 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 the excitement that I have when I make beats, the same excitement. Like, to like you know you, because he, he really needs nobody. Like, he was, he was playing shit that was fucking had me like, God, what, what, you know, what are these niggas doing here? <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Because he, 2013 shit that was in, on fire. You know, but it's like what Twister said. Somebody who's thinking out the box is trying to look at what's different that your mind can't think about. That's why people get called in to see what you might, what are you listening, what are you playing, what are you thinking, what are you writing. That's why the writers and stuff is there, because you can write too. But yeah. I want to see what you're thinking, because I want to think out your the box. Your vibe might take me to another place. That's what Kanye said. Yes. Your vibe might take me to a whole nother place. It's all about collaboration. The W. And so, that's so what... people look at it differently when you see, oh, they got writers in there, but you know Drake can write rhymes. Yeah. You know, it's, I don't care they going that for guy. the win, yeah. but they you know, going you know, for the win. You said, homeboy right? No, they don't go like that. You know he can write. You know, because he's, he'll he prove it to you that he'll, he'll, he'll fuck you up if he, if he had to. Yeah. But, but, but the <laughs> fact that if, if, if that other guy, what's his name? The one they were saying that was writing? Wait, him, yeah, if he got an idea over here, whatever that I didn't think about, a I'm hit, taking a that. Hit record is a hit record. Hit, there you go. Yo. There Who you go. That? That's what the, that's what these unsigned and people are coming up don't understand. Damn. A hit record is a hit, hit record. record. It doesn't matter if he's on the hook, yeah, he wrote a piece I don't of fuck it. Who did it? It doesn't matter. They they stuck on it gotta be this. It got no, it just gotta what be. What he's a saying hit. is to get the percentage off the record. I don't care. At the point, that's why Rock, Rockwell did the joint. Like, like, I don't give a fuck. That beat was crazy and look what it would have ended up. Gold record, one of the biggest records in Europe and one of the biggest, and our comeback was humongous. I don't give a fuck if my daughter's sister, aunts, nephews, nieces, the fucking, it's a hit record. It's still under me. I'm still going to be able to make the money too and I'm going to tour for it and I'm going to get the next deal off of it. Just get your just get your lawyer and just get the get percentages right and make sure you collect your money. That's it. That's it. That's the moral of the story. Music one on one. Your talent is supposed to take care of you. No know doubt about it. Nobody. At the end of the day, see, I never took publishing from my artists, so none of them, all of them kept it. I because I, it happened to me, so that's why I never took it from them. My lawyers was supposed to be pissed because they mm. never heard about it. They never heard before. That, yo, what, You're not even gonna take a piece of the puzzle. What's wrong with you? I took what I what I made. You know what I'm saying? But the lawyers was mad. Like you they ain't even like, gonna take a piece, piece of that publicity. Yeah. You gotta take a piece of a that. Piece. You they kept saying, I was like, yo, I take what I made. I did the music. That's what I take. That's why Rock. See, now we had we told all that story about Rock Wilder, and then I say people get philosophies passed down, and he just said the shit Rock said to me, because, because, which is why yeah, we yeah, stopped yeah. working together. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But, but the reason why, because <laughs> he just <laughs> said it. Yo, it's philosophy. The reason why, because it, it happened to me. I know it, it, it messed me up. So, so, so I know that the way it's I this way, nigga yeah, yeah, no, no, no. But listen, but the way I live. But yeah, but I still got my publishing. No, I'm talking about with my situation with Rock. It's this nigga. Oh no, I ain't telling him. I, I ain't telling him this. He taught Rock to no, say, I ain't him "Yo, that. I know you yeah. just said it. You see, he missed it, y'all. You told me when the shit started. I said, "Yo, I said Rock. I said, yo, I was trying to take Rock down the road of men yeah, that's the producers. That's something man. different. No, no come and on, you man. said, and Rock said." I said, my man Rock Wilder said, I'm not comfortable with taking no percentages off of nothing I didn't do, correct? Yeah, but my situation is you different. You did the same shit. No, you no. just said the same shit. You just said, you just said the same shit. You was like, I wasn't going to take the publishing from them. Why? Because I wasn't going to take credit for nothing I didn't do, basically. I, 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 credit, cre- I, but I, I, I knew I, I was doing it. I credit for just what I did. Yeah, but, but I did all the music. But that doesn't matter because the philosophy was I passed it. on. It's still the business. You're right, you're right. So the business, once Rock heard that and say East Sermon, I already know how he think. But but me getting mine taken from me, that's why I didn't go in that way. Because again, he didn't get nothing from me. I did. So I wasn't going to have that No, happen. I understand why so he did Rock it. Rock I'm just saying. Yeah. And so, so since East Sermon didn't take it from Rock, 
how is Rock going to take it from them? Exactly. He's not. Because he was the, this was the beginning. You know what I'm saying? And if, the, if, if he didn't do it to me and he put me in position to win, that's how I'm going to pass it on too. Which makes so sense. So we got a young manager coming to say, no, nigga, I'm the lawyer in the situation. We need that publishing. And all I need you to do is oversee these niggas. I can't take money. How different your life is it than if you take it? <laughs> Back for you. Well, then technically, Backfield exists because of E Sermon. Because I don't need you. Yes, because I don't need I don't need this. We're going to say that because he said his life is different. I don't see this nigga there. There's a lot of other things that we no, have. No, I know, but, but he's the catalyst. Because I, I, I had big mistakes. Like he said, he had big mistakes. You, you oh, oh nigga, mistakes. please. I, I think it's gonna make a whole... one of my big mistakes, but I, I, I had more than one. I had like three oh. or four big mistakes that probably should have took hey, me yo, to the I top. Hey, I want to now. Just, What's up? I, I'm gonna get into y'all business just yeah. one second. Okay. You don't have to answer this. No, we gonna answer right? it, but because you know you got a couple of podcasts out there, right? Yeah. That got started. All of a sudden, somebody stepped to them with big money. How does that happen? What you mean? What you mean? Like, again, I don't know your situation. I just know what happened to other people. Like, when they came in, all of a sudden you heard about deals they started getting. All right, well, well. Big money that was well, well, let put me explain into to you. Them. Let me explain to you this. We're the only ones that have that doesn't have previous fame. He had, he was in the social. I got you. He was in the social media. He was doing this before everybody else, but he was doing it from the ground up when nobody even cared. You know what I'm saying? Then as people started to care, his name got bigger, but he was on a This Is 50 platform. Me, I'm just coming from managing. All my popularity is from this. Okay. Everybody else was coming in It now. makes sense. Now, okay. now, if I'm you on some real shit, like, right? Yeah. And I come out and I'm dropping and I got all these people on, they'll be more inclined to say, East Sermon got fans. You got fans that's in high positions that's 55 years old. That's 60 years old. They they got the bag that could come and say, yo, I'm gonna sponsor you. Like, like, we don't even get sponsors because we're not famous. We gotta eat what we kill. Mm -hmm. So now niggas is trying to pass a sponsor. So say your 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 man got backwards right. and I smoke, but right. you don't. He'll be like, yo, I'm gonna turn my man on to you. So I say, well, how how are you getting it? He just wants to give me a check. That's how the podcasters is winning. So when you got fanfare, you you got Nori who made the revolt work, which made sense because that's Puffy, that's Nori. Then you get Gillian Wallow, make they shit work see, at, see, see, at see, Boston see, see, Sports. See, that's what I'm saying. I wasn't gonna be dropping, but I was gonna look at that. I'm looking at they got the Boston. Wildos, whatever, hitting them with that. Then those certain Cameron and and Mace come out of nowhere and then but bang. They, but, but, Cameron like, and no, Mace, but they got I, popularity. I, I, you just explained to me. Yeah. I just actually put yeah, it. I, Jim I Jones. Know Jim I know Jones. That. I'm going to tell you what Jim Jones said. I said this on Mad Platform, but I'm going to say this to you because you asked the question. Jim Jones said, me and him is the niggas that got the podcast and YouTube game fucked up. And I was like, why the fuck would you say that, Jimmy? He said, because y'all two make everybody think they could do it. Everybody previously had some type of notoriety. Even Joe Buttons. Even Joe Buttons. Yeah. Math was a battle rapper. Right. Gilly was known to rap right. and put out and, records and, and, and fucked and with Lil Wayne. Yes. There you go. Nori was an established First rapper. rapper. They Hit all, records. They all had shit to come with them. He said when they was doing it, he said people used to watch it. He's coming from the standpoint he don't fuck with me. He said people used to watch it and be like, damn, I could never be Joe. I could never be this. I could never be that. But now seeing y'all two niggas, I could be these niggas. Mm hmm This niggas was a manager. This nigga was something. He don't rap. They didn't but have it, no but fanfare. The, the problem is... Niggas didn't know our background. So when the whole thing happened with my expert opinion, they are like, oh, that's just re two regular niggas. And everybody was like, no, 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 check their resume. Now it's like, oh, they didn't just come out of nowhere. Oh, he been doing this. Oh, he has this. That's yeah. like when we sat with Young Berg, a hit maker, and I was like, yeah, we did the interview. People was like, hold on, you have experience doing this? They're like, hold on, how do y'all know everybody? Yeah. So now it's coming back circle like, uh, this guy has 20 years. This guy, that's 40 years experience. Yeah, Let's Gus go back came to... on the show and, and blew me up on the show because I, 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 Nobody I never knew. wanted people to know about money that I make or nothing. Dutch came right on the show. He said, how I met you, I paid you $75,000 for a rock wild to be. And you and ain't had no like, weed. He said, and you ain't had no weed. He's talking to me. Yeah. 
He's talking well, to what me. record? I don't know. I forgot. It didn't even come oh. out. Yeah. <laughs> it didn't even come out. Right. That was when Rock was so hot that we was just experienced. They gave me 75 for the weed. But the whole shit too, when I saw y'all, what was my what how did I react? I gotta get on y'all yeah, niggas. Exactly. Yeah. So, so no, I, I saw Boogie I, I, first. I, I, Boogie, but I, but I, but I'm knowing because I told him. I'm like, yo, 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 <laughs> yo. He came to me. No, no, yo, yo, yo. yo, 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 yo he came yo, to me. Yo. He said, E. E. Yo, Sermon wants yo, to be on the show. I said, E. Sermon wants to be on the show. I said, where the fuck you see Sermon? He said, yo, bro. He came to me. He said, I, I really want to be on. So I was like, get, get the fuck out of here. here. I'm gonna walk over there. I was like, I'm gonna walk over there. He was like, yo, I want to be on. So I was like, oh shit, but this nigga want to be on the show. Random question, because when we was at Say Less, right? I saw a bowl of chicken satay. Yeah. Was that what you ordered and I just happened to take from yeah, it? Yeah, I ordered Okay, my bad. I want to apologize. Because I thought it was just, they were serving it. Nah, and nah. It, he looked at me. <laughs> I said, <laughs> I said, oh, that was his shit. Yeah, but only, <laughs> but, 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 yeah, but only, ate, one, only ate one plate. No, uh, but, 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 I took it at first. Yeah, yeah, but, but the, the guy, the guy, the, my the, bad guy the, the, the guy didn't want to give it to us. Oh, because yeah. it wasn't part of the free stuff. Oh, okay. Oh. So, so, so I, I paid for that. Yeah. No, because they was having chicken satay circling around. I didn't around. see that before. before yeah, I got there. they were circling yeah. around. So when I seen it on the table, yeah, I'm like, yeah. oh, somebody left I it there. Two orders. So then, <laughs> yo, so yo, no shit goes. I took one, right? Yo, he looked at me. <laughs> he thought I did, but I really didn't care about that. I said, oh, shit, he paid for that. I didn't care. Yo, oh, this is some fucking bum nigga shit. I left one. I left one. Because <laughs> you know he, he the same way too. You like, oh that nigga, it's his. No, now. <laughs> I, I, I was. I already ate what I wanted. Yeah. Oh my god. Yo, no, bad you. Anything? Good. I'm good. Eat. Yo. Uh, eat, last eat. question. Yeah. <laughs> What's the money commandment that you live by? Meaning something you do or you advise people to do that can keep money in their pocket. Yo, this the shack shit work. What's that? Hundred dollars, fifty go to the bank, and fifty you spend it. Oh, all right. And then the I diesel. Say, didn't I just tell you? And I'm ending right there. I told him I said I'm, I'm in the process of paying off all my bills. I just want to be billers, right? So I'm giving myself till June. And I said once I come out of it, I said I'm gonna do that shit where you save seventy or save fifty and live off the other fifty. No, but e, that's that means you said you was paying twenty racks a month for your addiction. No eight. Oh, eight racks. Oh, eight, eight racks. racks. Twenty dollars. That's a lot. Of no, no, no. That's called, eight that's, racks is that, a lot that, of fucking that's money. That's cocaine money. No, no, no. Yeah, yeah, but, but, yeah. but if you're paying eight racks and you're putting fifty in the bank, no, I wasn't doing that. Oh, okay, okay. Yo. He said <laughs> he's giving advice now. now. Oh, okay. Yeah, now, but but still, my nigga, I'm like the whole thing was the fact that I told it was crazy because you don't know you're doing eight racks. The only reason why I found out later I was doing that much money is when I put the the money, the ten thousand in the drawer. Yeah, I saw you. So you came back and it was hundred dollars left right. or some shit yeah. like that. And it was a, not even a month. It was about 20, 20 days. That's when I knew towards the end. Cause don't forget, the the fives were five dollars. Mm. The sevens were seven seven dollars, going up to maybe eight dollars. I mean, this is the this is the the, the milligrams. The tens were ten dollars. The fifteen mm. were fifteen dollars. The twenties were twenties. Yeah. The threes were twenty five or thirty dollars. So once I got to the threes. This is $25. So then you end up getting 10 or whatever you buying each week. And that's how you get to eight. Nice. Mm. You know, so so it's it. So, but it doesn't stop. So if you don't got no bread, then you don't never get off drugs. The only reason why you get off drugs is when the money slows down. But for some reason, my shit wasn't slowing down. <laughs> you said that. Niggas don't stop smoking weed. Until they ain't got no money. <laughs> they got no money. You said that. I said, niggas stop smoking. As soon as the niggas say, yo, I'm going to clean myself up. I'm going to stop smoking weed. I tell her nigga, I'm like, that nigga broke. Yeah, he broke. That right. nigga broke. Yeah. yeah. So, so, so that was the, <laughs> They said my money ain't yeah. slowing down. The, the whole thing. And I didn't, not knowing on purpose. It's just like You see stuff that's coming up. Again, publishing. Yeah. You know, you, you know, it don't, it won't. You can't, this won't let you not have money. money. I'm sorry to tell people, man. Publishing this is, is the money, people man. People like, yo, at the end of the day, no matter what, it go up and it goes yeah, down. But once it's, it's still there. coming. But, 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 but with all that material, it's going to be a constant up there. Like how, not to put rock business up there, but the Aguilera record. Mm -hmm. You know? You probably do 100 and something. Dirty. You know, dirty. 
It's you easy. know, out of all the all the music. But there's know? a lot of people selling their publishing off. Because why do you think that is? E? Let's it's I the money. To... But ain't no e, money being made. But you does, ain't doing but, nothing. But but but, but e, mm. if niggas but is it's making, gone. Niggas, it's the wrong thing to do. It's the wrong thing to do. At this, it's the wrong thing to do. You take it's that cause short it's a money. Long sum. You take that short so money. Short sum and it's gone. And now what? Gone. Yo. Bag few. Like, subscribe, super thanks. Ring that bell. Part two is coming. Yeah. We're not finished. They missed a whole bunch of shit. I know. I'm talking about Afro yeah, yeah. Beats and why they doing, you know, why they signing because because they it, it's party music now and that's what hip hop. I don't talk about track lit, but I keep it whatever. Keep it on the low on that though too. But I'm number one in the in the in the, in, in, in the space of of yeah. What what, what you call um, tech, right? Oh, okay. So um, the 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 numbers came out right. And this is not the flex, not the flex, but again, my numbers came out and um, United Masters was number 15. Yeah. And Track Live was... Number one? Number oh no. Damn. How they find out about Track Live? Yeah, you go on Track Live. Track Live is a, um, a company of, of samples that I figured that since the world was doing the same thing, some people from Europe, from Sweden, um, that was down with Spotify too. Had some guys who, because that's where Spotify come from, Sweden. Yeah. So these guys from Sweden, they they had an idea back in the day uh, about um, buying samples mm. and then having a the company so you can sample from online for cheap. You know. And they sample from Tracklib. Uh, right, sample Tracklib. So. And you um, own that. So you got Drake that uh, did it. Um, J Cole did one of um, his records from there. Um, um, to t- Timberlands, everybody used Tracklib. But again, I never put my name because I didn't want the haters to be like, yo, that's E shit. You know how niggas be. Yep. But at the end of the day, I have a percentage in there or whatever. So um, in the beginning, it was all my friends that I got, like Stag Selector and all these people that come in there and do commercials at one time. So now I put it out there because again, track list done step it up so far that in the tech space, we are the number one leading new company, you know? That's so, 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 you know. It's, That's more to talk about. The bugged out part of the fact that this would make Nas oh, he's, what he is. And people, I never knew. Come on, I'm here silent. But Nas called me and said, yo, rich nigga. I'm like, what's up? He said, yo, you see the oh, Open up a tech. I didn't even know the track was number one. This is Nas hit me up. He said, yo, you're number one in the tech spot. And I'm like, okay, so now I'm like, I don't got no money yet. You know? This mm-hmm. is just what it's showing. But just the fact that when it do come time, it's I'm gonna be, selling. It's gonna be right. You know, I, I even did my job in this. This is mad. The track has been up there for ten years now. Mm. You know, it just it just took off later on to where it hit that spot. Like I said before, this is a blessing for how I talk about business and how I watch people that do investments. And don't forget, blacks was never taught about money. We was never we were, we were money illiterate in all phases of aspects of so and so. Every person that you see that made it made it off of real estate or made it off of some type of investment. Mm-hmm. And this is the part that okay, I don't know about the stock, I don't know about none of that shit. Mm-hmm. If, if we did, we all be sitting here with switching off type shit and be over there and be mad rich. So what we doing? We hustling, but there's people out there who ain't hustling. Who people out there that get the phone call, be like, yo, you you see what such and such is doing? Hey, yo, put some money behind that. We don't get that phone call, you know? But we gotta start looking at that phone call and see who's making that phone call and how did we get that phone call. Cause we can still do what we do and then have money making money working for us while we sleep. That's the whole thing about again, all of it, merchandise, whatever like that. While you sleep in something, somebody's buying a hat or buying a scarf to hold. That's what I mean. That money that is making money for you while you're sleeping. Yeah. You know mm-hmm. what I'm saying? So this is another whole situation. Yeah. Oh, no, we, part, two. Part, part two. Shout out to Yumi Dubs. Go to yumidubs.com, U-M-I-D-U-B-S.com, and go buy out my signature sweatshirts. It's only a couple of left. 10, yeah, 15, I told you. Merch. Go cop that. Five dollars. Yumidubs.com. Five dollars. You too. Stop playing. Five subscriptions. Back fuel brigade, get on five it. Five bucks, stop Ring playing. Ring the bell. Look at, we out look of at here. one of our hoodie designs. Chuck cheese, stop playing. Five dollars.